Gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to the first debate between uh, John Zerka and Michael Sartain about the flat earth. And more, probably. Yeah. This has been a long time in the making. You hit me up about, uh, what, two months ago and saying she wanted to do this with, with John. Uh, John, let me just establish a few things here first. You are a proponent of the flat earth theories, correct? Yes, but I'd say firmament because flat earth implies flat earth society, which you know it's a disc flying through space. None of that garbage. So, so this, it's interesting because a lot of the things where I went and looked at the stuff you were saying and then asked a bunch of flat earthers about it and they, they had some things. going to take the counter position yes. in all of this. I'm gonna standard this physics as, position. As, 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 as a civil debate and as rational debate. Of course, I wouldn't be a participant of this if it were anything else. Yeah. But so here's the thing that gets me before oh. we start here. Yes, yeah, so go ahead. We're all in year, year four. Okay. Just so we have established things. This is a big deal on YouTube. Yes. Okay. You, you send me a bunch of links. I've, I've looked at the stuff that you've talked about. I think you had a, a, a debate with Destiny about this at one point. My first 40,000 followers I gained was beating Destiny in a flat earth debate because he's the smartest guy on the internet. And I even said, I'll handicap myself. I'll choose a topic like flat earth. But it was, it was bait. It was bait because that's not handicap. That's the only thing I ever studied. But it's interesting to me because nobody understands hollow earth, triangle earth, none of those are popular. The most searched topic in YouTube history is flat earth. Is flat earth. Yeah. Wait, because above and beyond like the moon landing. Way above. Yeah, it's a lot more. Way, yeah. well, it's number one in, in digital history. Yeah, but, the, but the reason why is it because everyone thinks the earth is flat. A lot of people are still confused how other people still think the earth no, is flat. No, it, and then, hold on, hold on. Right. Okay, so here's the way I'm approaching this. And so... I have seen other debates and they're kind of half-assed and they're not in a, and have no production value. There's yeah. no like real, like real debate. There's no real talk about it. So the way I would like to run this is I'm just pretend I have, I'm aware of what's going on, but pretend that I'm the, sort of the new peer, sure. sort of the in-between. I'm moderating this. Okay. Marola. Um, and I'm confused. And the reason why I'm confused is because this is something, this is a topic that I'm quite honestly, I think should have been settled like way back when Copernicus or Galileo was around. Galileo. Yeah, yeah. So, so I got an answer for that. I am like, I am, like, do you just. By the way, by the way these, are, these, are, these are two different things. Uh, geocentrism and geocentrism and flat earth are two different things. Well, we're going to explain all that yeah. to you guys here. Because I have yet to see a comprehensive video. It's usually just this back and forth. Yeah. Right? I've yet to see a comprehensive video where we actually talk about like the, what, what's going on here. Because to me, it's like, I can't even believe this is a topic, much less the most popular topic. Actually, I, I, I have a, a, a view on that he's going to agree with. I have a debate I did for three and a half hours with Flat Earthers. And if you search my name and Flat Earth, it doesn't even pull up. Yeah. Like, it, it's, it's one of these things where if it is an accredited source, the Flat Earth stuff pops up. If it is not, like your, your thing with Witsit, couldn't find it anywhere. It was yeah. literally Flat Earth Dave. Dave How Weiss. did you find it? Dave Weiss. Flat Earth Dave sent it to me. Could not find it anywhere i knew that you had done another uh debate mine we humiliated those gold cards yes i got to that you did like they didn't because they didn't because they weren't prepared because some of the things but, but it's just so obvious it's round how can you don't have to prepare it's so, so obvious it's so this is, oh this is great i'll enroll what do you what, here go. just before we get, cool, get started here uh because we're gonna we'll do pro con with yeah a, a time in time i'm gonna moderate the time really gonna moderate the time this time but I want to say that the reason why we're doing this is because we want to actually at this being settle the debate, but like also to have a, a comprehensive, like a real down to earth uh, talk about this rather than just this back and forth, which is just like, you know, red meat. I want to actually say, what is the, why is there even this, uh, why is this even a topic at this point? So before we get started, um, introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Michael Sartain. Uh, I am a former U.S. Air Force officer. I flew special ops for five years. I have 700 hours in a KC-135 Strato tanker, and I did uh, counterintelligence for the last two years. And uh, before that, I used to manage a strip club, and now I host a bunch of bikini competitions. And my co-host on Yeah, Vegas. and my co uh, and your co-host on Access Vegas, and I'm the uh, coach of Men of Action Mentor. And you have a background in astrophysics. Yeah, so my, I studied astronomy, so I don't have a minor in astrophysics. What happened was I'm a, I have a major in the business school at UT Austin. They will not allow a natural science mi minor, even though I have upper division astronomy courses. They, won't, they wouldn't let me do it. But I studied astronomy for that, and then the next 15 years I studied astronomy. John Zerka, give us your pedigree. Same thing. I'm from a strip club, but I was a med club security guy, yeah. dirty clubs. And since I needed money, my city was so expensive. I worked seven nights a week, bunch of cocaine to stay up uh, at all sorts of clubs, dirty clubs. So one champagne lounge that was nice, but most of them was like people who pull knives and stuff. 
I just fought people on the street and uploaded the fights on uh, only the times I won. <laughs> I, upload, I, I upload those on my Instagram. That got permanently banned for violence when, when I went on a dating show. I went viral. And now I just, uh, I guess what I'm known for this week or this month is I converted 1,400 of the youth into Christians. And that's what I do. And I want to make clear, you can even find me on the internet a couple of years ago. I always thought, you know, I respected religion as traditional stuff, but I always thought it was gay and hocus pocus and fairy tale. So when I was a flat earther for years, it was because of the scientific method, not because of religion, but now, and I defended it like my religion. Method. Now, before we, uh, one last thing. What is it about the flat earth theory? I, I presume I'm using the right terminology, yeah, flat earth theory. What is it about the flat earth theory that, that made sense to you enough for you to get behind it and put your sort of like the belief system or, or your, you said by science, whatever. What is it that was convincing about that argument so the point where you're going to be a proponent of the flat earth? Yeah, so I was watching the uh, Eddie Bravo, Joe Rogan thing during the Trump of 2016. I forgot what it was. But um, I think it was after, but no, it was actually during Hillary versus Trump. And I was, yeah, it's that far back. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. I remember so this. It goes, it, it goes further back, but that's when it hit the mainstream. And then it turns out it was a dark web leak of Trump administration putting fear into the public to not trust the establishment. Because if the earth is flat, what else are they lying to us about? Yeah. So they won't choose Hillary. And then the Trump administration kind of like never spoke about it again. Not that they spoke about it publicly, but all these dark web places that I go to were talking about this being, it was with the Hillary Clinton email leaks, which you don't know about the Moloch. This, right? this, this is 2016. So this is 4chan that you're yeah. saying a lot of this. Pizza stuff. Gate Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there was a Clinton email saying I have to sacrifice a chicken, which is code, FBI code for the dark web that convinced you that Flat Earth is a, lead, is a valid. No, no. It was the... Eric Dubay, when he was mentioned on Eddie Bravo's, because I'm like, what the f do Amish people believe in flat earth? But the first thing I saw, I'm not a moonlander. Everyone knows it's fake. Richard Nixon speaking to Abbott's not on a live live telephone. He, right. he, got, he got patched into Houston and they. You're, they you believe in the moon? Oh, this is going to be no. humiliating no. for you. Uh, today? You, there's a moonlander? Today? Oh, you are getting humiliated. We can today, say that. Uh, today, today is what we're doing. No NASA. And nothing to do with space. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Still going to prove this Earth is round. To answer no Romo's NASA. question, you said yeah. no NASA. Yeah. NASA's the reason I became a flat earther because this is the first time they try to bury it online, but these have 100 million views, these clips. Have you seen the NASA astronauts caught on chroma key, green screen, blue screen, and harnesses? So the, You've the, seen the harnesses. So, no, one of them was a hoax. They actually had a, a girl who was doing a hoax, like literally on a green screen, and they tried to say it was an astronaut. It was not an astronaut. One of them, it wasn't no, no, the screen. George, they, George they, they were using they were using a codex, and, and they just cut it off, and it keeps. So if you know anything about video codex, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. interesting. Yeah. Okay, so we're we're going to start now, but before everybody, so everybody understands, I've got my stopwatch over here on the. I, I don't, I don't even know if we'll, we'll need that. We'll just leave this some thoughts. Like, okay, now roll over. So first, we're going to start. We're going to start with what well, this. How we form? Yeah, this. So I want to start with John. Okay. John, you got five minutes to make your case and tell us why the disc theory is not this theory. Tell us what it is that you believe in and why you think it, why you think it's about. Okay. And go. First, I'm known for, I destroyed engineers, physicists, and NASA employee, even a, uh, a guy who was almost going to be telemetry for NASA, unless he's lying, but he had some credentials. I've debated hundreds of people, wiped the floor with them. I actually thought you were going to be my hardest opponent because you are Air Force and you've done these debates and you know what work, what I'm bringing. Yep. But you just said you're a moonlander. So now, now I'm confident because now I know how far the delusion goes. But when I saw he will never admit, there's a clip on the movie level, very viral movie from ericdebate.com of George Bush Sr., being wheeled out in a wheelchair in NASA, and in the background, when you zoom in and they cut it up, it's the same astronaut watching water congeal to a ball, but he's on a chroma key playing with a fake ball, proving water doesn't turn into a ball. They're not in the ISSS, and there's harnesses, pulled pulled wires, caught, and one wasn't even invisible. One, one was a real harness. You've seen those. Listen, I, you know, I, yes or no? No, I've not seen those. No, check this out. When I drop these clips on Twitter after the debate, it's going to be a before and after. Let's do it. And so let's do it. I, yeah, for sure. But there's other ways to make me a believer, and I'm going to go over what those are as well. For the rest of this debate, 
I'm not going to bring up NASA at all okay. because I know what you guys do. You just say it's fake and then that's it. And so we're not going to, so what about completely unproductive to even talk about this? I'm not going to bring up Mars. I'm not going to bring up NASA. What I'm Mars? Gonna Gilder? I'm not going to bring up any of those photos real to you. I'm not going to bring up of, of that because there's too you many can, things. Cause it's all fake no, news. There's too many things you have to answer for that. You're not going to be able so to. So hold on, hold on. Everything we learned in elementary school, Mars, Jupiter, all your pagan gods are fake news. And you don't want to bring up the here, fake here's news. The here's the thing. So here's the thing. Brilliant. Here's the thing. I'm at. You, you're you're John Zarka, dude. You're way funnier than me. You are way. I'm funnier than Dave Chappelle. You're, you are you are way more charismatic. Would you admit he's way more charismatic than me? It's the cult. It's dude, the cult. Dude, you're better looking than me. You all this stuff. No homo. Ready? No, oh, you have better hair. No, I'm losing my hair from the amphetamines. No matter what happens, if somebody is objectively right and they have a debate with you, you talk really loud. You say a bunch of stuff. Mike. Like, Crazy, You're bro. deleting bro. space. This bro. is so unfair. You're deleting the, 80% the of the talking. They're That's why the sun is fake. Bro, listen. <laughs> listen. Listen. What, what I want to do, like, I, I, I love how you do this, and I do, but I'm going to ask you some questions, and then we're going to see if you can answer some hey, of these questions. I'll stay here for five Let's hours. Let's do it. I love it. I'll stay here it. for five hours if you tell me why you're deleting 80% of the time. Uh, hey, but you, but, outer but, space. But, but, Whoa, is that fair? No, He's no. deleting oh, the whole no, outer no, no, space. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, no, no, stop, stop, stop. I'll talk to you about NASA, but I, I want to prove the Earth is round before we get to anything okay. to do with NASA. Yeah. So, yeah. Our, you wanted me to explain what my model is, right? Yeah. You know, what is your model? Is it a disk? Is it what? Like a weird lid? Like, oh, hey, pretend I know nothing. Is it a disk? Sure. How what keeps the support? How does gravity work? Okay. So gravity, give me the rundown. how did they explain gravity before? Is my timer starting over? Yeah. How did they explain gravity before this? I mean, how did they explain why for, things for rise kids, and fall? It could be in 1689. Yeah. How did they explain it before uh, the math model of gravity, which is, it makes no sense, right? Is if this water bottle falls, mm -hmm. it's denser than the medium surrounding no. it. Air. No, that's not it. And if it rises, it's like a heat. Are you telling me helium is a magical element? A Pikachu balloon is beating gravity that's holding skyscrapers not, to the ground? Not not only helium, but hydrogen. Okay, water. so those are the only two oh, magic. And, and your boy who ran. It's more buoyant. Come on, come on. Your boy who ran Germany back in the night in 1939, he filled that he filled the balloon full of hydrogen. Not only will helium do it, hydrogen will do you're it. You're making as well. my point for me. No, no, no. no. You're a magical element because, because there's a periodic table, and on the periodic table, which of those gases have a lower atomic number than oxygen? What? Helium and high, but why are they right? Look on the because they because have they're less dense than the air surrounding it. Yes, because each one because they have a lower atomic mass in them. Yes, you're correct. That's so, right. So, 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 do we live on a disc or do we not live on a disc? I know, but we do live on a disc. No. no, 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 it's not a, a disc flying through space assumes that space is real. Every single picture on Google of space is computer generated. So you, That's why he's afraid to talk about it. No, 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 no. Mike, you know why you're afraid to talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. I just want to prove that the earth is round before okay, we get to that. Before anything, yes. yeah. do you believe that the composites NASA uses- Here we go. See, he's, see, he's running, that, he's this, running, this, right. he's running. 100%, Big Show Mars is running. 100%, I'm gonna talk about this. Okay, not space, but, earth. No, 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 no. The, the blue more no, 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 You no, gotta no, run from the blue more. 100% I will talk about this. After I prove the earth is round, Okay. after okay. we do that, then we'll get to those. Someone remind me. You have to say you believe in the blue marble at the end of it. 100%, we'll talk about that at the end. But what I'm not gonna do is what every time, because I've, I've watched hundreds of flat earth debates, and this is what they always do. Prove to us that you can do it without NASA. So I'm going to take you up on the challenge. I'm going to prove to you without NASA. We're going to, you too. We're, we're going to do things that have nothing to do with NASA, and we're going to describe that, and you're not going to be able to explain it. And then at the end, I'm going to give you a proof so that you can prove that the Earth is flat, and then you can take me up on that. And then if you want to talk about NASA, we can do it afterwards. But I'm not getting caught in this trap that I see every single time. Well, they say the trap for the end. There we go. You say the trap for the end. So here's, the, here's a couple things. Yeah, so no, it's not a disc world. It, the Earth would be the basement of the universe, space is fake. When you think of space- so what, are we, what are we in, right? Where does, where does the disk float? Remember, Tesla said, Earth is not a sphere, it's a realm. So Tesla Einstein never said, said that. hold on, like, Einstein said the Earth is an observable, motionless- Einstein plane. never said that. Einstein said that, but by all observable means, or we'll read the quote later, go ahead. Okay, all right. And when you look at star trails- I don't know where I am, Zerka, tell me where okay. I am. Look, look at star trails, Polaris, the North Star has not deviated an inch off the sky for thousands of years. But it, all, did, it did deviate before thousands but, of years. But star trails never intersect, they all go one way. Why? Why have the stars been, oh, there's the Big Dipper. You're not in an eccentric, heliocentric model flying through space because it's been the same for thousands of years, but they want to go with their fake well. 
oh, time is relative. Like these stars are just so far away. And what you're telling me, you're taking pictures of the cosmos you, changing. You, you don't. Shit. You don't have to do that. You can actually look at the moons of Jupiter and see them changing. You don't have to the, worry about the that. CGI of Jupiter again. With, but but if I go and I look, I can take a hundred dollar telescope right now. Anybody, stop this video, and you can look up millions of videos sure. of people. No, nothing to do with NASA. You don't need the Arecibo telescope. You don't need the James Webb telescope. You don't need the Hubble telescope. What about you the Lucifer telescope in the Vatican? You don't need any of those telescopes. You can go to the front of Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles, and you can look at one of those cheap telescopes, and you. You can clearly see Ganymede, Io, Callisto, and Europa, the four major moons of Jupiter. Really? Are you sure they're not just luminaries not, of the not, not, not only can you see them, you can see the red swirling s storm around Jupiter, and you can You're watch saying you can see lights in the sky, Absolutely. and you know what they are. That's Absolutely. what you're saying. Because they go behind each other. That's the reason why you can see. So you're and, convinced a light in the sky is a moon. And, and when you see them... And you can see them go, you can see them in different positions, meaning it takes 12 years for Jupiter or whatever you believe Jupiter is to go around the sun. Wait, and it takes 365 wait, days for the Earth to do isn't it. Isn't Jupiter the pagan storm god? But you believe there's a I storm on Jupiter? Here we go. What, they, then you? repackage that pagan sh for you and you buy it. Thor, Thor is it. And I'm remember, gonna... heliocentrism from Helios. This is Apollo solar <laughs> worship. This is sun worship. This okay. is Luciferian. Yeah, right. You, but you're not. You're gonna. You're gonna win the debate with the. the and where did heliocentrism? Where did heliocentrism come from, bro? You the, the Vatican. Stop. You're the one who's running now. Stop. Listen. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. So here's the first thing I'm gonna ask you, and they, they, we're gonna do the first three major proofs. And the first one is if I am standing in Sydney, Australia, and if I'm standing in Johannesburg, South Africa, and if I'm standing in Buenos Aires, Argentina, when I look to the south, I see the same Southern Cross. If I were to take long exposure photography, I would see the entire the entire celestial sphere wow. all around me. I would see the entire celestial sphere go around a central point in the Southern Point in the uh, I know the Southern Cross, right? But in all three places. I'm seeing the same thing, but according to the flat Earth model, I'm facing in three different directions. Okay. Now, the the answer that flat Earthers there was a mirror effect they had. The, 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 no, it was. Do you remember? The, the, no, it was. You have your own personal dome, meaning it's like my little pond where we all. Well, okay, but that's what Witz had said, and that's what and that's what Jaron said. And then, are they saying optically that's you have your personal dome? Yeah, you have, you have, not actually a personal. No, dome. No, they think you have a said, but as soon as for some reason in the northern hemisphere there is no personal dome, but in the southern hemisphere when I go to these three places, it is irrefutable that I see the same thing. Even flat earthers admit that you see the same thing in all three places. And the only possible way that is is because you're looking at the same point. And the reason why you're looking at the same point is because the Earth is round. Don't care about NASA. Don't care about Mars. Don't care about any of those things. When I'm in the Southern Hemisphere, not only can I see the Southern Cross, I can't see Polaris anymore because the Earth has blocked me from Polaris, showing that the Earth is round. And we'll get into the point. That's a great point. Yeah. That's great. So, so the point is, if I'm looking in all three places to the south, I can't see anything else but that. How what, there's two. There's two things. Flat Earthers will say, well, three actually. One, they'll say that the south, the southern pole rotates around the Earth, but that's impossible because you can actually have two places that are in night at the same time. So Santiago or uh, Johannesburg and Sydney will be at nighttime at the same time, and you will both see the Southern Cross at the same time. So that's at what part points. of the year is that? Oh, uh, that's going to be winter in the southern hemisphere, so summer in the oh, northern hemisphere. Okay, so, so you that, know so that's going to be when the sun is in the little circle in the in the middle, and the not in the big circle on the outside. Now, that's can you have a? This. You said, sorry, can you have a twenty-four hour sun? Okay, hold on. Well, can no? Can you <laughs> record a twenty-four hour sun? No, you, but even in can even you? Yeah, has even, anyone recorded even, a twenty-four even hour in sun? In latitude, you don't. But no, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like you've never seen a recording of a 20. No, it, it'll dip down. Now he's drowning. It'll, it'll dip down below the equator and then come back up. But, but I have footage. Is I have footage. Right, but then, and the footage is blocked on YouTube. But we flat earthers have the footage. We've done it ourselves. But you don't believe in a 24 hour sun that never touches the horizontal horizon? I, I think if you went you farther, north, if you were farther north and it was on June 21st, you might be able to see If I pulled up footage right there, were high enough. Well, there were, I'm not going to lose. I mean, we're not going to lose the full state. That's fine. But you don't want to say. The, the, you're being a lie, right? We'll show that later. I do, but that doesn't make any difference no no it does because when i drop it on twitter it's going to humiliate listen, you it's not going to humiliate me because if i'm at in the north pole and remember there's also you had some uh, arguments about magnetic north pole there is a difference between the north pole the actual north pole that the flat earth that is the middle of the flat earth and the magnetic north pole. Well, we're south on a compass you're an army guy we're south on a compass it's south it's the opposite of north you know south. where is south on a compass if you're an army guy where is south it's the opposite of north there's you believe no up, in a south pole, but there's right? but there's no upside down no, no. up and down south is not 
you're saying opposite because you're saying it's 180 degrees right. away from right. north. Right. But you, what you're, you, saying, what you're you, really you saying, just admitted, you're just admitting there is no, no south but pole. You just, admitted, you just admitted that you see the south the, the south pole when you're in Buenos Aires, when you're in Sydney, Australia. I didn't, I didn't, didn't you one. When you go in all three of those places, please, everyone, stop this recording. Put this in your watch later list and go and watch. And you can see in all three of those places, indefatigably, you will see, if you use long uh, long exposure lenses, you will see the entire sky go around one point, and you will see the Southern Cross in all three of those places. You are facing in the same direction, but, and you will not see Polaris. When you are looking at Polaris, and you're in the Northern Hemisphere, like say in your, your, your New York or in Las Vegas, you can see Polaris, you cannot see the Southern Cross, because those places are blocked. And what flat but, earthers would say is because there is a finite light, they find like you didn't answer it. The, what do you mean? What do you want? When I said Polaris has not deviated an inch off the okay. you're saying I can so, find a hide and red, seek spot go, to go. hide from it. Here we go. Now you know, I don't see it from that spot. Now, now, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, and so it, it has. And I'm gonna prove oh. it. I'm gonna prove it through. But I thought, I'm gonna prove it through Gary the Numbers guy because there's a difference. Oh, the guy don't beat you. There's a guy, but there's a difference between cool. Vedic astrology and Greco-Roman astrology. And in Greco-Roman astrology, if you're a Libra, your sign is actually in Sagittarius because the move the Earth it processes. And it's proof that it processes. That's why all the zodiac signs are off by 15 degrees. Because in the last 2,500 years, when the zodiac was created, Polaris was not exactly on the North Star like it is now. There's a second proof. But it's actually, I mean, there's, the point. there's Aztec ruins that show that we're aligned with the North Star, and they're 3,000 years old, and they're off. They're in a different place. But so the point is, the point is, the Earth you're does this the whole point. The Earth for thousands of years, the stars have to swirl and hunch their all over. They don't. They, you, okay, so now here's here's another problem that, with your thing. So well, how fast is the Earth moving? Uh, okay. I, I thought we're moving very fast. We, we are moving very so fast. Why are they are they always the same? Ah, so let's go over that. Makes them play that. So they aren't. And actually, Witsit talked about this on your debate. So when the uh, the Earth, let's just say, just humor me here, it's 93 million miles average distance between the, the Earth sun. and the Sun. Yeah. And so in June 21st, I'm over here. And we'll just say in December 21st, I'm over here. When we look at stars, we can see in arc seconds they actually move. And Witsit said, well, how do we know that the stars aren't moving and that the Earth isn't moving? And the reason why we know is because when they go back to December 21st, they move the back to where they were originally well how much parallax, are they moving? parallax proves that the that these that we're the ones moving and not the star so you can't really see. so mickelson morally six is oh, thank you wait 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 but then you have to bring it up mickelson morally no, yes. yes we'll go there yes. yes hold on you said thank you for bringing that we'll up. go to mickelson in a second but 93 million miles from the sun no it's 180 so it's, no 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 so, for the sun and the earth right mm -hmm. so we agree on that yeah how the f do you have a perfect eclipse what do you mean you have you're gonna play the goldilocks right? thing really are you oh you're gonna say you're gonna a perfect Okay, cool. So I have my question for you is the, the sun and the moon are not exactly the same size. In flat Earth, they're exactly the same size. How no, no, not exactly. They're they're relatively. Okay, so so in flat Earth, they're relatively the same size. In how, yours, do you how do you explain that? No, how do you explain that in flat Earth? Why are they the same size in flat Earth? Why are they the same size? What do you mean, why? Well, they have to be because there's eclipses in flat Earth also. So why are the sun and the moon the same size that, in flat Earth? Big, our model is that the Earth is bigger than the sun and moon. It's right, Your it's model right, is that the agree, sun is bigger than the Earth. Well, why are the sun is bigger than the Earth? Let's say Let's, say, let's say, with the let, moon. Let's say, the moon is tiny. Let, let's say this is it just perfectly yeah, far away. No, no, let's say no, no. I'm gonna you put, have I'm to gonna, do I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm put, I'm gonna put this on you. Why is it if if the sun and the moon are smaller than the earth in the flat earth model, why are they the same size? Why are they the same size? So that's how God made it. Okay, okay, good. I just wanted you to say, I know that was. Is that how God made it? God, why did the grass thank you? How is Thank you. A duck. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. How why is the sun bigger than the earth? Why is the sun bigger than the earth? Your answer would be because God made it. No, it wouldn't be it's, why? because because gravity. Because that's the that's the original. Listen, look, that's the <laughs> that's the original fuck? formation of, of the of the galaxy. So you believe in a burning ball of gas in a? Oh, I thank you. Here in we go. a fag up, burning ball of gas. In an I know for each one. Earth, we don't. The Earth rotates once every twenty three hours and four, six, six minutes. Yes. Uh, so it's uh, called. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that sixty six point six? No. Is that the thirty six minutes? Fifty six minutes. Fifty. I'll put on Twitter. It's at the speed of about 1100 miles. 1100 miles. That angle you said 23. It's 2356. Yeah, in, in that, that, you know which angle that is? That's 66.6 .6 Freemasonic. There we go. Freemasonic. That's this it. One, there we go. There we go. No. Okay. How we get a leap? Okay. okay. But so, so let's not. Get, let, we're, we're flowing in. I, I, and since so it's military guy. Okay, go ahead. No, no. If he says stars, I stay on stars. If he says sun, I'll go to sun. I can go anywhere. But you're a military guy. Yeah. 
What is Operation Fishbowl? Dominic? Listen, I, I know what you're talking Operation yeah, Fishbowl. I, no idea. Shooting rockets against the dome? No idea. No Dominic idea. means in Latin of the Lord. Again, you don't know what so, it is. So, Operation I'm going to point this Operation out again. Fishbowl. I'm going to point this out again. I said at the beginning of this, I wasn't, I wasn't, we going, to, Operation? I wasn't going to invoke NASA or space flight whatsoever, and I was going to prove that the Earth is round. So we're, so we're going to stay on this. Okay, so now, the next Can part of the- water. It, thank you. The next part of going into what you're saying, all right? So the, the parallax shows that the Earth is moving. Now, let's oh, go to Mitch. Mitch, Mitch is that why you think it's a ball? Mitch is the parallax? No, really? No, no. I thought it's just so obvious. The parallax shows that it's moving. Now, let's go to Mitchelson Morley. So what happened was, before, when we would see something like sound, we knew that sound traveled through a medium. It travels through more denser mediums, it goes faster, and more lighter mediums, it goes slower. Meaning, sound actually travels faster through water than it does through air. So and faster because, through women. They're so fast. Yeah, yeah, it does. It goes pretty fast through them as well. So, because of that, back in the 1800s, we just assumed that maybe light also traveled through a medium. And we called it, before we knew what it was or had any idea that it actually doesn't exist, a luminiferous ether. Mickelson Morley, please don't take my word for this, look it up on your own, was to disprove or prove luminiferous ether, not to prove or disprove whether or not the Earth was moving. Who has and, proved the Earth is moving? And, my, and, who has proved? Stop, I'll and, give you the stop, point. And, 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 Dr., and Dr. Mickelson and Dr. Morley, when they died, never believed that the Earth wasn't moving, never believed the Earth was flat, and nor did Albert Einstein. When Albert Einstein makes the quote that you, mis, you misinterpret in the quote, and I'm going to read the quote because... Well, Einstein Cousin, okay, bro. okay, right. He did. Ready? So here's the thing. That's your boy. That's your, your boy. prophet. But right? This is my favorite part about this is that Witsit goes, I'm not cherry picking here, and then literally cherry picked in the interview. Wait, wait, wait. I, can I just give you the point? Because I didn't do this much research on Big yeah, yeah, I don't. You can have this. Okay. But you, you, you can have the point completely. I don't I don't need the f feel. But I know, I'm, I'm not Andrew Tate where yeah. I go, I'm top G. I know when I uh, lose a point, yeah. right? You probably know more yeah. about that. But you're telling me yeah. you don't believe in objective truth if you believe in our son. What are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about relativity. Yeah. Oh, okay. You, so, you, how, you don't so, believe so, it. So, so, no, it's not objective truth. It, when you're, th you're confusing the actual con denotative version of the word relative with relativity, those are two different things. Relativity has to do with the bending of space time. And I'm not, I'm not even going to go into that because that's still space and we're still sticking on the earth. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, before, we get, before we get into that, we can, we can talk about that. Wait, hold on. Question. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Before, well, before we do this real quick, because this is the most misquoted thing I've ever heard. What he, he says is, Albert Einstein says, since then, this is uh, in 1905. So he invents a relativity in 1905. Right, right. Right. Before he Cousin. In 1887, though, this is when Mickelson Morley did their experiment, and I, and I can and we can go. We all got a hot cousin. We can we admit we can, we, yes. And okay, oh, stop. Yeah. No, I never had a hot cousin. Okay, so anyway, what so, a liar! No, <laughs> can't you can't you can't you this guy. It's a global. All right, basically, since then I have come to believe that the motion of the Earth cannot be detected by any optical means. So what you he said before several times. Uh, by no scientific experiment. Right, is what right. It's really so, but what he's what he's talking about though is only Mickelson Morley, and the last line he goes. Though the Earth is revolving around yeah, the he's sun, paid to say right. He's but, but, again, point. but again, is how is he? I, I don't want to go into why he would be paid to say this in 1905 it's when he's not even. But he's, not, but he's not even okay. He's if, leading the. If, if you want to go, here's a here's a. Uh, we're going way off topic here. But before you said, you remember you were saying the dinosaurs are an attack on the creation story on Christianity. You, you said, believe in dinosaurs? No, no, hold on, time out, time out. But no, say it on camera. Oh, I'm Mike Sartain. I'm not. Believe in dinosaurs right now. When you say in camera, you believe that dinosaurs are an attack on Christianity. Right? Absolutely. Okay, cool. But it's all there's also a creation story and a Muslim creation for story. For what? The creation story as Genesis in the, the Torah. It's, it's the, all Genesis. For, you're talking about Abrahamic faith? Yeah, but my point but no no all, same thing with Islam. Islam has a creation story. So it's what well, my point talking is, about they all pretending they believe in the same God. No, no, no. no. My, my point is it, dinosaurs are not just an attack on Christianity, they're an attack on all creation stories. No, no, because what is promoted on the algorithm? Islam, not Christianity. Yeah, Nick Fuentes but, but, is not promoted but, 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 like Mohammed. Hold on, hold on. Is Nick Fuentes promoted like Mohammed a job? Are you fucking joking me? You're, you're, you're missing the point. No, what I'm trying to say. No, no, you're, you're trying, trying to lump them all together. No, no. What I'm saying is, in general, forget the internet. What your point specifically was that that the the dinosaurs. Well, we're not here to talk about dinosaurs, but no, the point, we can do ten, ten yeah, five, do, five do, minutes exactly. quickly. Like, Why do you believe in dinosaurs? Uh, Just to hit me, like convince me. Uh, Why? Because, because someone because, ran a book? because where we found the fossils, where it is in the carbon date, uh, carbon dating, that has to be have been something there. When was the first born found? Uh, 1700s, I believe. 1600s. And late and and only in the but, but that's only in the West. But only, only not in China. That's when it was recorded, though. Oh my gosh, that's after. That's after. Right. I'll I'll post on Twitter. First of all, 99% of all dinosaur bones 
are made out of red bones. Actually, actually 100. They're all replicas. Well, but, but, Admit they're replicas. But, but they're 65 million years old, so 100% of them is not biological material. It's all sediment that replaced where the bone was. So like that, what, what you're saying... So are they like, lizards or do they have feathers? Do, which, which one do you go? So in, in, in evolution, which I'm sure you don't believe in, at evolution, they are a, a bifurcation point between the lizard Wait, species... Wait, you believe in evolution? Where yep. are the intermediary species between a canine or, let's say, a whale turning into a land mammal? Uh, no, where is the intermediary species? There, there is no. There's, there's so, zero, but there should so, be millions. So a whale, a whale has its own tree, has its own tree, and the the thing that bridges in between is like. Where oh, are the bones of the whale so, uh, so, going? Like, so, why are they? The, there should be millions. No, the, where are they? No, because you believe in adaptation. Been, like, I believe in adaptation. Major, extinction event. No, no, you want to talk about adaptation? You want to talk about adaptation? Yeah. Adaptation is real. Animals adapt to their bar- environment. Thank you. Yes, of course. But species don't cross so, so, from here, whale here. into a dog. Are you? But so nobody he, said nobody says a, a, a whale crossed into a dog. Well, there's a million intermediate species, and yes. you haven't found one bone. No, but you, 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 you're you not. But you're not going to find bones unless they are specifically trapped in certain areas. How do we get different b- bred dogs? Go. Oh, wait, wait, that's uh, is, that, is that from selection. wolves? Is that from Canis lupus? It's artificial selection. But is that from wolves? We breed dogs with dogs. Yes. We don't breed them with wolves. That's how we get different dogs. Yes. So it's not going from wolf to dog. You admit it. No, no, no. Wait a second. We, we have records of, uh, of actual Germanic gray wolves oh, learning into dogs. Because dogs existed. No, no, no. no they they no, existed. They dogs, the, the early, dude, damn. Oh, I'll tell you about dogs. Come from dogs, dogs and wolves. There's, there's no wolves. No, no, no. There are no dog bones before 50,000 years ago. Oh, oh my God. God. Free, like, Yo, you're free, crazy. gray wolves in German, from you're Germanic tribes. You're saying turned into dogs. That's what Absolutely. you're saying. But, say that on camera. Oh, no, tell me, tell me. You said this. He's a scientist that disagrees. If I took, if I took DNA of your family, one of your family members and yours, would I be able to match the two of you together yeah okay so and i could do the same thing with a dog and a wolf yeah but would you find dna of me turning into an african no exactly no it doesn't turn into a dog oh, 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 that's oh, the whole point but if you and an african person i'm gonna find over 99 percent commonality in your genetics between you and an african yeah you're gonna say that about a banana too i'm oh, saying no as banana, a human is 50 percent actually can, it's not 100 can an albanian just over time just Turn into that's a lot. That's how evolution works. That's, 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 that's how evolution works. That's how evolution works. But you're saying for the... They're saying, so there's billions of different species. And the where ones, are they? The you're saying that billions. Are where are they? they where they, are they, the they, billions they, of intermediary? Again, by with, bacteria. No, no, they they no, get destroyed. No, you said you're finding bones all over the place. Where are the whale bones turning into mammals? Well, at the end... Also, whales are mammals. Whales are mammals. No, no, no. Um, land mammals. Right. But there are... Where are they? But because, Where? Because it, if you look at the genetic commonality between, like, say... Just a, say they don't exist. You know they don't exist. No, but, but as far as whale bones specifically dealing with that thing, they're so old that you wouldn't have found, found the bones. It's like 65 million. We didn't spend oh, hundreds of... Hold on, hold on. No, no, roll it. You gotta let me talk. Dinosaur. You gotta let me talk. Dinosaur. 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 Mike, Mike. Yeah. You said they're so old, yeah. you will never find them. Yeah. How the f*** you find a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Great. Boom! Great. That's it. Great. You're done on Great. dinosaurs. Great. We're going back to flat. Here we go. No, here's the whole about Look at the cold. Here's how you find it. Here's how you, you find it. It's buried in certain areas. So we have found, we found skulls and human remains from 3 million years ago. We found other remains of other animals 40, 50 so million years ago. So Tyrannosaurus Rex is okay, but whale turning into a land... Again, okay, where, where would a whale have died? Huh? Where would a whale have died? Where would a whale die? Obviously, at that beach amphibian. No, they don't, they don't beach. They don't, when whales die, where do they go? Where are their bones? Then these aren't whales. No, no, no. These aren't turning any, into anything, any, anything. Mastodon or like what, what, what's the thing? The, the, the old, the old shark Same thing, thing, whatever. What, what I'm talking about is where, where, where would they die? Where would they die? They would die in the ocean. Correct. Then where I, we can't even get to now. We're you, getting your back. argument is you can't find a whale bone. Yeah. <laughs> You can't find a one. Look at him. Wait, yeah. oh, I got his ass now. Okay. Put the camera on him. Put right. the camera on him. Yes, awesome. Okay, oh, this so now, the, the, the first thing that we went over was the, the three places in the, you can see the Southern Cross from three places in the Southern Hemisphere. The second one was flying in the Southern Hemisphere. So this is, there is a Kwanzaa flight, Flight 63, that goes from Johannesburg, South Africa to Sydney, Australia. And there are flights that go in opposite directions at the same time. The theory that flat earthers have is that there's a 1,000 kilometer headwind or tailwind. Unfortunately, that doesn't work because it would have to go in both directions at the same time. And you could disprove all of round earth. And all you did was get into the cabin and take a picture of the ground speed. In an airplane, you have IAS, TAS, and GS. Ground speed indicated airspeed and uh, and. Uh, true airspeed, all you'd have to do is show that the indicated airspeed was 275 and the ground speed was 2000, uh, 2000 knots. But you can't do that because there is no, f- there is no f- air headwind or tailwind that's going 1,000 miles an hour. And the flight is 14 hours one way and 12 hours the other, and you don't go over the northern hemisphere. Not possible in a flattery. You just said you have to get in the cabin of a 
Here. So let's do it. Yeah, so no, hold on, hold on. Let's, 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 let's roll it. You've got to give me more. Let's do it. Let's you and me do it. Let's, no, no, I can do no, it. We can do it now, bro. Roll it. Roll it. Let me talk. Let me. He said you've got to get in the cabin of an airplane, let's right, Rolo? Okay. Yep. Explain to me why that's a problem. Yeah. We go all. Also, you can hold your own GPS. You can have your own GPS and check ground speed. You can hold your own GPS and check. Did you see the, the, have you been on a plane? You, so you saw the curve at 30,000 feet in altitude? No, you do not. You don't yeah, see the better you, say you that. He was about to so, say, yeah, the curve. You can see the curve. I, I no. You, but you've said it. Roll, I admit it. You've said to no, someone so, before. So, have you been on an airplane? Have you seen the curve? You've no, said that before. No, never said I have a clip. Okay, so ready? Here's the thing. Hold on, hold on. You let me cannot go. see the curve at 35,000 feet. Go ahead. Why, why not? Why wouldn't you see the curve? Okay, so you will not see the curve until 260,000 feet. Because here's the thing. The curve is obvious within human beings have a 100... What, how many feet did you say? 260,000 feet. So NASA disagrees with you significantly. About saying that, no. NASA what does said, NASA say? Here we go. If I take a panoramic camera and I take a photograph of the horizon and I compress it in, you will see a curve. Human beings have a 135 degree peripheral vision and they can see pretty clearly in this like middle 60 degrees. In the middle 60 degrees, when do you see the curve? It's about at 50 miles, 260,000 feet. That's when you'll see it. What this is all? the reason. And also, uh, the balloon thing, no, that wasn't the curve. The fisheye thing, you're correct. That wasn't the curve. Was excuse me, excuse me. What? Say what's it all the, What's a fisheye? You sound like a yeah, conspiracy yeah. thing. No, I'm like, what's a fisheye? You can't see a curve until you get to 50 miles. You can't. So, so all those people are wrong. You're correct. They're all wrong. What huh? about Red Bull jump? Yeah, that's, that's 128,000 feet. That wasn't 260,000 feet. Why does everyone say that's proof of Because the, Because they're dumb. I agree with you that they're dumb. They don't know how a fisheye will work. works. Is there footage online of a curve then? Yeah. There is, yeah. But, 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 oh, oh, time out, time out, time out. No, we talk, we talk about this one more time. I'm not going to the NASA. Sh I'm going to prove that the Earth is round, it's and I'm not, not going to use. Yes, it is. Anything that goes above that, it, it, Red Bull is. You're going Red Bull's. Red Bull's 128,000 feet. Yeah. 260,000 feet. That. Oh, you're like, saying to your, your, So you're going with. His, yeah, you're going with uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson that it's going to be way higher. I don't, know, don't, I don't know if Neil said that, but you it's 260,000 feet. You don't want to cut it at 120? No, 260,000 feet. That's when you... But at eight, at eight inches so, per so, mile... Hold on. At eight inches per mile square curvature calculation. Oh, uh, so great. We should be able to see so Thank much. You. Thank, you. Thank you. High five. Oh, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you. I, 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 eight I, I, inches I, I, per mile squared. Ready? And I, I, here we go. Let's, eight inches per mile squared measures a parabola. Please take a time to pause this and look it up. We are also, on every single one of the proofs I have here, we're going to put in the description with timestamps an article showing each one of these things to be true. Eight inches per mile square is somewhat accurate at 20 miles. It is starts to get inaccurate at 60, I mean at 40, and at 60 miles, it's unusable. Why? 100 miles. Because the Earth, in, in our model, is a circle, or an oblate spheroid. A parabola. It's not a circle, it's a sphere. A spheroid. Spheroid. The cir the circle's flat. Right, but with the measurement you're doing for the curvature of the oh, Earth is for a lot. How is the up for a curve line? So in, in this case, once you get past 60 miles, it's off. Now, I'm going to... Wait, you're saying I'm, that it changes? No, no. What I'm saying, it's a circle. The eight inches per mile squared. Wait, wait, wait. Why does it... Eight, eight inches per mile squared. Mary, Mike, it's the it's higher parabola. up you eight go, you should be able to... Where does the parabola... When does the, when does the horizontal horizon start to do this? At what altitude does it even slightly bend? You're saying 200... 260,000 miles, yeah. 260? Yeah. Like, man, so I was like at 65,000. No, no, no. You're like... No, one more time. One more time. I'm going to reiterate. Mike knows more than that. Yeah, one, one more time. Which you, if, you take, you, to this. if you if you take a panoramic photo of 180 degrees and then you compress it, you why does it have to be a why does it have to be panoramic? Because the human eye only goes 135, and, and that's the reason why. Because you in the, my middle 60 degrees oh. of vision, in order to see it, you have to be at 260,000 feet. This is cold. You can never see the curve. No, you can see the curve. 260,000 feet. Where? Okay. Anyway, let's keep going. So yeah, go, go, going back to going back to the thing that we were saying before uh, about the uh, about the curve. If you take a panoramic view and you compress it, you can see a curve. Bro, or it doesn't matter how big it is. That curve, you can see that curve at 50 miles. Yeah, 50 miles up. Yeah, yeah. 50, no, at 50, so just imagine, as I go higher and higher, the curve gets more and more narrow. Now, going back to 8 inches per mile squared. At 8 inches, I'm going to use your math. At 8 inches per mile squared, at 100 miles, the drop-off is 1.3 miles. Okay, we'll just do that. But let's let's make it a little... You don't even have drop-off in yours. Of course we do. It, we, it's a You're telling me at 200... It's a Two hundred thousand? No, no. I'm sorry. We're talking about two different things. I'm talking about the eight inches per mile squared measuring the curvature okay. of the Earth. It doesn't measure the curvature of the Earth. It measures a parabola. The Earth is a. So is, is that visible? There, huh? Is that parabola mm -hmm. visible to the human eye? At, at, at a certain altitude, you believe it's visible because a lot of you guys say our eyes just can't see the curve. I, I, I'm not. I'm. I'm going to go with the proofs, and I don't care what other people are saying. I mean, I'm just going to listen to what I'm saying right here. Now, 
what, what happens is uh, with uh, the 260,000 260, feet to see the curve, at eight inches per mile squared, it starts to become inaccurate and breaks off from the measurement of a circle at 60 miles. So we're gonna use it, we're gonna use a math equation here. You are about, you're 6'5", right? You're about 77 inches tall, I'm about 74 inches tall, right? So in these in these measurements, how much is a 1% deviation? How many inches are in a mile? Oh, you're saying- How, okay. how many inches are in a mile? It's 63,360 inches in a mile. 1% off is 630 inches. At, at 60 miles, you're already more than 1% off, meaning whatever variation or whatever uh, error that there is, it's 10 times taller than you at 60 miles. That's the reason why they keep coming up with, oh, we shouldn't be able to see this when we can see this. It's two things. The eight inches per square mile does not accurately reflect the surface of the earth, number one. And two, there's atmospheric compression, which your side agrees to, which agree is the that. reason why you see sunsets and the sun gets bigger. That's the reason why. Three, when it comes to, you know what ham radios are, right? You yeah. can bounce them off the, the atmosphere, come down. In your case, you bounce them off the dome. Yeah, come dome, down. Dome. Okay, cool. You had Witsit talking about microwave transmissions for ACE High and NATO, and there's no way it should go 250 miles. Yes, it's called tropospheric, tropospheric scatter. That's how it bounces off, and you can go to 500 miles just so by doing that. Do you really believe? Do you know what a, your military chain of command is? Of course you know. Yeah. Right? Because people like Rolo would say, well, if it's a secret, how did it not leak? It's a military chain of command. Only telemetry and military would know. That's it. You don't really think the military that uses as a month equidistance targeting maps? Oh, you don't to believe we're, we're the gonna, military we're, we're, we're gonna, we're, we're You think they that. use Mercators? Hey, let me ask, oh my God, ask you a question. How did the photos from uh, from Gitmo get out? What is Gitmo? Uh, Guantanamo Bay. Oh, Remember they referred oh, to you? How did that? Well, I thought I thought the the U.S. military would just keep everything a secret. Wait, how does that work? It got out like flat Earth, the most YouTube. No, topic. no, yeah. Ever. That's right. That's right. They, That's right. They did. That's the re right. The reason it, that it did get out. That's my point. No, it didn't. Literally, my point. It didn't get out. The flat Earth is nothing but a Russian psyop in 2016. That's all. Wow, Russians have that much power in your head. They, they, they you know that we have power in your head because they're sitting there posting on 4chan and you believed everything they were saying before the. 2016 election. That's the only reason this, and we're even talking about this. There is no flat earth movement in 1975. Then none of this is happening yes, until there. recently. Oh, no, there's, okay, anyway. Well, what about 1900s? I, 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 you said I, I, Russia. I want, in the 1900s, Russians were taught about geosynchronous. Hey, you know, you know what I'm, I'm In curious, the 1900s, they were taught about sure, this. For sure. Well, what I'm curious from your That's standpoint, late. from what I'm curious about from your standpoint is, uh, actually, I, I don't want to get into this because you were saying the thing about ADS, and I won't talk about that yet. Uh, how do you explain the flight from Johannesburg to uh, Sydney taking 12 hours. I've heard the argument. I don't remember. I don't explain it. You can have that one. Okay. But that flight you take, if you have to make an emergency landing. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, no, you know, oh, let, me make, let me make it. Yeah. All emergency landing systems uh -huh. in airplanes use our flat earth. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't use that. For they, your they, use, they use a flat map. They don't use your flat earth map. Oh, so no, 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 no. Do they? But is there an ice wall in that? No. Is there the highest shoreline on Earth, Antarctica? Okay, the highest shoreline on Earth is in Pakistan. One of them is in Hawaii, and the other uh, highest shoreline on Earth is in Dover. Yeah, in apparently, Asia. Wikipedia disagrees with you. Pull it up. There, there are 18 shoreline's higher I, than the one in Antarctica. What's the high? Well, the one that when you Google it, one, which one pops up? It's Antarctica. And no, the one in uh, Hawaii is actually the highest shoreline. Lock that answer in Reddit okay, for sure. The highest shoreline. High shoreline in the world is in is in uh, Hawaii. All right. So anyway, going back to what you were saying before. So you explain it by how you think it's because of headwinds and tailwinds, or you just don't have an answer for that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't need it. That one's like a more boring one to me. You can have it. I know what you're trying to say, but yeah. I can kind of reverse it to you. Uh, you globetards believe in your globalist model that Mike and Zerka can f two models in a helicopter that floats 24 hours above. Well, let's say we float 10 hours above yeah. the Earth. Apparently, the ten Earth, hours. What do you mean? Let's say the oh, only four ten hours. Yeah, I can't see. Put my put my face on the screen so I can see if, if if they can see my hand. Look at this. Yeah, we're in this helicopter. Yeah, and we let the Earth roll under us. Yeah. ten so hours, okay. but we land in the okay. same spot. So, and you're gonna. So, I dare you to go to Coriolis yeah, let's, here. Let's do it. It's just say the atmosphere not is moving. It's, too. Not, it's not Coriolis. No, no, bite it, bite the bullet. Say the right. atmosphere is moving. Right. Too. So we're it's gonna safe. we're gonna go back to the the. No, no, I want the yes or no. Is the atmosphere moving? The original the original formation of the Earth, the proto Earth, there was no atmosphere on it. And once the atmosphere comes, the atmosphere is uh, is subject to the same angular momentum as the Earth that is spinning. So meaning Whoa. what you, what you're saying before is that the Earth that the the 
atmosphere should be going along with the Earth because what you're doing is you're I'm presuppos- what you believe. you're presupposing that there's something dragging the atmosphere, but there's nothing up there for. No, you're, you're, you're saying all right, stop. You're saying the hell is being dragged. Listen, 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 I'm not saying anything's been dragged. Where are you landing in the same spot? Re- relative to that spot, it's not being dragged anywhere. Relative to the Earth's motion, oh, it's not, it's it's not going anywhere. Chooses. No, it's not. Going <laughs> it it, it right. picks so, and chooses. So the point is, what you're trying to say is that the the atmosphere, if the Earth is spinning, should be dragged behind the Earth, but it shouldn't because it and contains I'm, the I'm, main, the same at the same angular momentum as the Earth. I'll give you an example. If a woman is pregnant and she gives babe, a, a birth to a child, the child doesn't fly in that direction at 1,100 miles an hour. The child has the same angular momentum as its mother when it is birthed. Just like the atmosphere has the same angular momentum as the Earth when it first emerged well, from the Earth. So same with an airplane? Uh, no, the uh, airplane, whatever. The point. The, so the how the hell does a plane get from point A to point B? Because the uh, because the atmosphere has the same angular momentum as the Earth. The, <laughs> see, you're you're trying you're you're trying. See, the, the the whole your argument is when you're in a car, you don't feel the speed, right? Uh, no, you feel the acceleration. Once yeah, you but not the speed, speed, right? Once you set at a certain speed, you said this. Of course, right, you, you feel don't feel way. it. Do you, hold on, hold on, hold on. You disagree hold with that argument? Hold on, I, I agree, but okay. you're not in a car. You're on the f***ing roof. Are you going to feel motion? No, if you're... That's the bus of the earth. You lost. If you are, if you are in, if you are... But, but no, again, when you're in a car, the atmosphere is moving against you. That's not what's happening Are you here. feeling motion on the roof one, of the car, one, Mike? One, or is time. gravity just helping one, you? One more time. If you, if the angular momentum right. of the atmosphere is the same angular momentum of the Earth, then the angular, Shoot. then the atmosphere is going to move with the Shoot. Earth. Shoot, non-answer. It is, it is the answer. I'm You're asking correct. you to feel motion on the roof of a car. No, because, because you know, you, if, if you were, if you would try this, if why don't we try this? If you were on the roof of a car, you wouldn't feel motion except what you would feel is the wind in your face. You wouldn't feel motion. Really? So if I'm driving and I just do this, you're not going to feel that? No, but you would feel it inside the car also. you feel it inside the car also. Oh, whoops, whoops, boom. Yes, you would My feel it inside the car and outside the car because inertia is conserved. Angular momentum is conserved. The problem is what the flat earthers do, and I've seen like round earthers trying to have this debate, is they forget this point. The angular momentum is conserved in the entire planet, and everything that it would, it's, uh, since its inception is there. Again, okay. well, you wait, can, wait. At what point do you magically go high up enough that you're in outer space? Do you what? Four hundred seventy-five thousand feet. Now, here's the here's my question for you. Ready? Do you remember those jet streams that Witsit was talking about was blowing the the, the things was back that and forth? Debate? No, it, it was your debate with that you did with him. My question is, GPS, you're going to tell me, is not satellites. That's fine. We'll, we'll give you that. You think it's a bunch of weather balloons, correct? No, no. What do you think? Where's GPS come from? And by the way, GPS does work in the Pacific. I didn't say no, that the North ever in my life. I don't know much about GPS. I okay. always talk about why. Right, but where's GPS? I, guess, I said why. I, 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 no, no, I got to ask you because you're going to talk. I flew over Pacific. I, I, you're attacking an argument that's not even mine. Yeah, you, you, but it is a flat Earth argument no, that no, they no. have to answer. All right, but, but it's not mine because if you're, you said you got a list of so, my argument. You, got a, you said you got a list of my arguments. He's attacking me for arguments I didn't make. I haven't said nothing about NASA, nothing about Mars. And now no, I'm no. doing the same thing here. No, 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 no. Look, you, you, I know you said you wrote down my positions. Yes. That's a Wi-Fi, not a GPS. 97% of Earth Wi-Fi is done through triangulation, grid towers. What? That's why when you leave to go to the mountains, you lose connection. No, it's in but, you, but your GPS grid. still works. Okay, okay. are there I'm satellites? Not, I'm not, I'm how, not. how do you not have satellite coverage in the... Mountains. But you do. You do. You don't have to I, like I lose, I lose it on here. I lose it. One more time. Cell signals are UHF. The GPS uses a chip that triangulates your position between four different satellites. That so is not UHF. Do you it's believe not UHF. Do you believe, not UHF? Do you believe Wi Fi is done through the grid and underground sea cables or not? No, no. The, the, the action is, is 97. The last, the last, there's, a, there's a modem in here, or oh, whatever, a router in here. The you modem, buy into the, this? The modem is beaming UHF signals into my phone because I've got the password for this Wi Fi. I didn't ask that. I said, do you did. believe that 97% of Earth Wi Fi has nothing to do with anything in space? Uh, you believe why, that? I'm talking about GPS. But, I know. You, you don't want to answer it. What, what, no, to, to do it through. Oh, you don't to, want to answer it. GPS. Oh, am I allowed to ask him? Oh, GPS satellites Can you don't please answer it? information. Oh, so you're the scientist. GPS, GPS, oh, GPS satellites have nothing to do with my cell I, I said GPS is not my argument. Wi Fi is. You're attacking the wrong argument. Oh, okay, so, uh, so, so tell Wi-Fi. me about Wi Fi. Do you believe Mike Sartain on camera, 97% of Earth Wi Fi is done through triangulation grid towers? 
Under, underground sea cable. Oh, Wi Fi is information. It's not triangulation. Ooh, triangulation will show your location. But I don't. don't. Just said, say, look at the camera and say, I don't believe it. Just let say, I don't believe it. I don't understand your question. Do you, do, do, do you want data? Why okay, I'll say this. I'll say this. Wi Fi is giving you data. Okay, I'll say it has, Why was that? If it you want location. It has nothing to do with your CGI satellites and your eyes. Oh, forget it. I didn't say anything about that. You can't. You're not. You're frozen. You have to explain. You have to explain how the. We get GPS. Well, I'm not the so, scientist. You're the scientist. How do we get GPS on top? You're of the scientist. How do we get it. GPS on top of Mount Everest? How do we get GPS in the Pacific? So I don't even have GPS here in the mountains. Oh, I'm not a teenager in the woods. We don't have GPS here, really. Okay, we're not in the mountains. Where's the richest thing? We are. We're not in the mountains. There's mountains all around us. I have a GPS location. Hold on, hold on. You're telling me if I go to a snowy mountain, I'm gonna have the same. No, you're gonna have the same location. Remember, global positioning. It should be the position. exact same. No, satellites. no, it isn't, dude. This is. You know what Destiny okay, said? Destiny know. said. Here's the thing. Destiny said there's no satellite floating above a mountain, but satellites orbit. Yeah, they orbit. We should have. You no, should no, have time, everywhere. Time, one more time, because I have to. Yeah, I'm not here. To, I'm here to debate you. We're poor nation. I'm, 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 I'm here to teach you. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. In order to get that level of data coverage, you need higher frequency, which which has more attenuation. Even flat earthers agree with this. If I have a higher frequency beam, then it's going to get more attenuation. Since those satellites are 300 to 800 miles up, it is not a good idea to use them for data. Now we have, I've used an Iridium sat phone while flying over Iraq, and I was able to make calls with it via satellite. But it is very, very uh, like it is not a good way in order to transmit data oh. to do it that to do, oh, do it that high. Satellite. One more time. My my argument was about global positioning system, which you do not lose when you lose Wi-Fi. You can still see your position. If you don't believe me, the next time you guys are flying on an airplane, open up your map thing, it'll still show your position. It'll still show Wait, you that long. Are you but saying it Google Earth? Google, was, I'm not talking about Google yeah, Earth. Yeah, you don't talk about any, that because it was taking any, pictures by any, Google. Any, any map whatsoever. Again, Why did Google you're doing it again. You see what he's doing? Again, I said no satellites, no what NASA, mean, and I'm still going to make my GPS. point. Yes. No, no. How is Google Earth not GPS? How about it? I'm making your point that your ridiculous idea that it's balloons flying through the air. I never said balloons, Brett. I never said but balloons. Every he did it again. But every single planet. Underground sea cable and triangulation. Yeah, That's why. Wi-Fi, 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 Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not Wi-Fi. Wi right, right, let's stop with Wi-Fi. Wi Wi let's just talk about GPS. Okay. Tell me how Google Earth works. I don't care how Google Earth works. You don't care? I don't care. Then you're a scientist. No, I'm not. You're a genius. I'm a scientist. You're an astrophysicist. No, no, bro. Right? Oh, let's, let's start off. Tell me about GPS. You are a genius, bro. You are I know. I'm you winning. You're I'm winning. winning. over an astrophysicist. You're, 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 you're better looking than me. Yes. You're finer than me. And a loud team. Bro, you have way more followers than me. <laughs> okay? For sure. For sure, but you're not winning because you can't explain. Like, hold on, hold on. It, like, hold on. Hold on. He, when he loses the point, he goes, "Yeah, I could see that point." He's conceded three points, and you guys still believe the argument. Yeah, but I defeat my madness. I got you on the meat and potatoes. What are you talking? What? Are you, no, conjecture. I got you on the meat and potatoes. You got me in a peanut point. No, I. You didn't, really think you, we're waiting? You really not? You really think the potatoes? fact that you can't ruin a question? I got a question. Yeah. So, if you like satellites, right? What? Elon Musk setting up into the it's just he thinks it goes into the Bermuda Triangle with the with the with the with he thinks it goes into the Bermuda Triangle he thinks he lands them all in the Bermuda Triangle and it's all CGI and no, it's all no, no, no. I don't, Mike Mike let me let me let me enlighten you hold on Rolo 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 to Rolo. 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 first of all first of all yeah. all rockets if you look at their trajectory they arch because Operation Fishbowl, Dominic. Dominic in Latin means of the Lord, fishbowl of the Lord. It was to launch rockets against the dome to crack it. Now look at this. Rollo. Oh, no, no, Rollo, just a sec. Just a sec. Right now, just smile. I'm going to put... Hold on. Okay, okay. Just look at the camera, Rollo, right now. Get Rollo on camera. Rockets are real. They go up. Most of them are launched in Florida into the Bermuda Triangle. But now let's say that... Now look at this. Keep, get the laughing. Get the laughing. Ready? 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 I'm going to drop the SpaceX clip on them laughing. Okay. Why chat knows Beautiful. what I'm doing. There and go. when I drop this clip, you guys have to respond to the Definitely. clip. Definitely. And Definitely this clip respond. is not something I'm... It's not reaching. It's going to nuke okay. your belief Ready. in so, these rockets. So if you're, if you're, if you're curious, Rollo, what happens... SpaceX S10 rocket. S10. Because, because, again, the atmosphere has the same angular momentum as the Earth. What you launch from Cape Canaveral and the Earth is going... To, it's rotating east to west. You're going to arc over to the east because it, it's a, it gains you speed as you leave the atmosphere. That's the actual answer. Yeah. All right. Anyway, but go back to. What are you putting up 
Wait, how did how did they, how did they call it? so if they had that much fuel to go to the moon, uh, they didn't have rockets coming back. How did they? Uh, it's it's. Uh, I didn't know. I don't know. I gotta know. How did how did they how did how did they Rapid come back from the moon without a rocket? Okay, so in order to get into orbit, it's five miles a second, seventeen thousand five hundred. But they landed on the moon. Right, right. Top of the, let me finish. So what happens is, uh, what, what happens it's is one six Earth's gravity in the moon, right? Yes, yeah, correct. You would cut in. And you would actually get a gravitational boost to leave to go right. back. So How most much fuel of, would they need to go up? Most of the fuel would be coming back. But here's the part you don't understand because you don't understand. You mean going, oh, not coming back. No, coming back. You mean most fuel coming back because the, there's, the gravitational but, assist from the moon is one sixth of the I know. Of the to get up listen, there, how did they do it without a rocket? What do you mean how? Without how did the lo lunar uh, rocket? There's, there's no friction. Like when if you okay, let me ask you something. Look, okay. Just just humor me. In our in our vacuum space model, if I'm going 100 miles an hour in this direction in 100 years, how fast am I going to be going? Rollo, it's a hundred miles an hour. It's a cause. It's it's Newton's third law. I know, but for your option, you're not asking. You're not asking. No, I am. How is this lifting off the moon without any? Were you saying it has this much fuel to get up? No, it, it doesn't need as much fuel. It's one six, and it's a it's a light it's a light lander. What are you talking about? Oh no, hold on. Well, huh? by the way, by the way, by the way, we're not doing this because I told you we can get. In, at Wait, can I ask you? Do you know Buzz Aldrin? Wait, I got. Of course, I know Buzz. So Buzz Aldrin well, said on a. No, he, he said on. He said on. Ready? Here we go. I'm gonna put the clip. I'm gonna put the clip away. Here we go. Ready? Buzz Aldrin. What Buzz Aldrin said is a little good kid came up to Buzz Aldrin and said. No, no, not that. That's not the clip I'm talking about. The clip where he's on. What's the redhead? Jimmy Fallon redhead guy? Conan. He said on Conan, the whole moon landing was no, fake. This, this is a, a, he said on moon, he said, he said, he said, he said, we faked it, but we still went to the not, moon. Not, but we showed fake footage, because it was ours, no, Mr. Larry. So and they said they lost, it's a and NASA said, it's a NASA it's said they, it's a it's a they lost all their technology. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a painful process to build it back up. It's a You know what I It's a deep fake. I'm out of time. Wait till I ask the clip. Really? Really? Does, does Ford built a 1965 Shelby today? Do they build one today? Yeah. 1965 Shelby. Yeah. No. Yeah, uh, can could do they have the technology to build a 1960 Shelby Good. What's exactly? Dot dot. You said that's exactly my argument. If Milesut is Ford and they have better technology today, why the did they go back to like a? Because they don't have the engineering. Because they don't have the engineering to do it. There's no there's no reason to go for it. There's no reason. But but the technology developed so much they could go a thousand times. Okay okay. It's the easiest. Will you will you hold this? Will you hold on to this? We're gonna get once I'm through with my proofs. We will totally talk about. And hold on hold on. How do we see stars through a moon? Because they said the moon is cosmic plasma in the 1960s that it's not a rock. You can see stars through them. You're doing the thing where you're making me the straw man for your ridiculous argument. I never said it's made of plasma. No, no, I said that. I said, no, what? I'm saying the moon is cosmic plasma. Me. Okay. All right. It is. I want to clarify something here really quickly because you've mentioned Operation Dominic a few times in this. Now, I, who me, you know, this may you doubt, but my father was actually on the USS Lansing during Operation Dominic. There were no missiles fired during Operation Dominic. It was an air, they were air bursts and there were surface bursts on the South Pacific, 800 miles off of the, jo well, I mean, Hawaii, but it's in the Johnston 8. Where were the surface bursts? They were on the ocean. Oh my God. I'm, I'll put the clip, I'll put the clip. Right, here we go. There's so much, there's so much evidence to that show you the, hell, you can see the nuclear belt, the nuclear blast. The U.S. government I know. used the sailors on the on the uh, on the ships as human guinea pigs to see how the what, radiation. What a bunch for air bursts. And by the way, fishbowl is the same thing. Operation Dominic one, Operation Dominic uh, two, and then fishbowl. I I know everything about this because I wrote a song about this for my band Trial of the Sun. called Dominic. It's literally that's what I wrote I'll about. Put, I'll, my dad. I'll, my dad breaks away through uh, in twenty. Rest in peace. Just for that video. Here we go. Rest in peace to Rolla's father, but. Oh, hold on, Dominic. Go look it up. I, 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 I literally, uh, every Veterans Day and every Memorial Day, I put something out for my dad because he was a part of Operation Dog. Okay. Uh, don't worry, I'll put it in. You can respond to the clip. But Admiral Byrd is the first person to travel to Antarctica, and he said there's more land southward, 180 degrees away from magnetic north, is southward. You circumnavigate east to west like a finger on a plate. You and there are it, no, no, I'm right. thousands of videos of people flying over Antarctica. There's a video right what? now of it's, Mr. Beast flying over Antarctica with 155 million views on that just uh, came out a month ago. There are so many videos of to the camera. And Mr. Dennis, not Mr. only this one, there's a, you said that there's a fing ice wall. Really? How do, it's penguins, a how do penguins get over this 
fucking ice wall, dude. The whole thing's not an ice wall. There are part, there are the shores are any advantage. Shores. There are short. Then they have to get into the water. There's shores on Antarctica. There are killer there's whales. Water inside. There's, 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 there's water. There are killer whales that go up to the shoreline of Antarctica. It's not one continuous shoreline. Like so when I saying. when I post the video of a continuous shoreline of a helicopter that travels for one hour, you're gonna say it's fake. What do you mean? A I will post the what? video of the shoreline. The we, ice know, wall. We, we know that there's a shoreline. I didn't say it was a shoreline. I said so it wasn't a wall. But I said it's a beach. With no, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beach. Okay. There's a parts of that are beach. You're, you're saying the whole thing with. And you're saying you're saying that the longest treaty ever held the Antarctic Treaty means we can bro. Oh, there go really well, well now. Already, okay, everyone, everyone, stop what they're doing. Right. He's, he's you doing. You can go to one percent. He's winning our war. That's why the sun is fake. Twenty thousand dollars thing. The sun is fake, bro. No, the sun got. Listen, one more time. You believe the moon's a rock? I got the Zerka money. Let's go. Let's do it. You're not allowed, Mike. You're a military guy. Where we can all go? Zerka. Yeah. Mike wants to go to Antarctica. Let's do it. Get, I'll go all right. Two yeah. seconds. Bro, I'm filming that. that. Hold on. And the Zerka is a $20,000 trip. Put the camera on me. Put the camera on me. Not only will I go, bro, you can buy a weather balloon. I'll go up in the bid. No, no, no. Let's go to Antarctica. And all these, no, no. Weather balloon. Let me get it to Antarctica. I'll go up in the bid. Let's go to Antarctica. So the, the, the imaginary F-22s and F-16s that are going to come shoot me down. This bro, is what you can't even have a military like. base. You can't even have a military base there. In I, Antarctica, you can't. I, I used to be at Allison Air Force Base. I used to be at Allison Air Force Base in Elmendorf, Alaska. You can't take off aircraft oh, yeah. with 15, 15 not Alaska well, is not Antarctica. Yeah, it's worse in Antarctica. You can't take off with 15 not crosswinds. There's only one country in the my, world my, that has 11 aircraft carriers. There's are so oh. Bro, this is you're the one cope. There's no military bases down there. There's uh, uh, the, three nations no, signed no, the military no, treaty. No, the, 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 the treaty, all the treaty states, is that no one country can take over Antarctica. It doesn't say civilians. So, can so you're there. telling me that they, they civilians fight, can go to Antarctica. Fights for you. Civilians can go to Antarctica. They go all the time. They can only they go to the peninsula. Stop, everybody. Stop. Do, do what you're what you're, doing, what you're doing, guys. And I want you guys to look up. That's a twenty thousand dollars trip he's talking about. A twenty thousand dollars to see. No. At a peninsula, again, again. you're not allowed to get deep. Hold on. You can't be up. Let's end of this. Let's end of this. Hold on. Let's stop. Hold on. Will you go to Antarctica? Yes. Right, yes. yes. Hell yes, I'll go to Antarctica. Yeah. And how much does it cost? I want. I want. Do you? I know. You want to know? If he goes. I know, but do you know how much he has to pay? For one person, do you know? I'll post on my Twitter to humiliate. I'm going to roll. We accept this challenge. No, no, we're doing Antarctica. Bro, let's you're going to pay $20,000 now. Let's get you're going to pay $20,000. Let's get the views, bro. Let's get the views. Bro, let's let's get the views. Get the views. No, we're let's going to pay the Antarctica. Bro, no, no, for $20,000. And we're going to say hold hold we can't hold even hold leave. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here's the thing. Not only are we going to do that, we're going to get a drone. And we're going to go up like 30, 40,000 feet in the air. And you're going to see... Antarctica. You're not going to see the see the No, I see the girl. No, you are not at 30,000 feet. You're like, oh, wait, look at this. There's very little really of the footage like this. Yes. People in Antarctica. You think they're allowed to explore? Yeah, they can do. Yeah, they do. He literally climbs like three or four mounts. He climbs a mountain. You think no one can go, has ever. He can go all the way to. southward. No one can stop him because there's no military bases in Antarctica, dude. There's a, all right, no, all right. There's no military so, base Mike, in Antarctica. Wanna, no, here's the thing. Stop. Want to bet money stop. right now? No, let's bet $1,000 right now. No, no let's bet no. $1,000 right now. They, bet you, me $1,000. Uh, Australians going to Antarctica didn't get fought by a military ship on YouTube. No, no, no. For $2 million. No, 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 let's, no, 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 let's go. Let's go. There's no bet. military base in Antarctica. What? No military base. So, all the military no, waters? Military base in Antarctica. So you admit all military waters around Antarctica are, all of that is being, is being surveillance. But it's surveilled. I mean, right. so the whole planet is being surveilled. So those Australians, the whole planet is being surveilled. So those, I'm going to post the video tonight. Those Australians, the one that's Antarctica, that they're like flat Earth me, me. They get stopped by a military ship. Ready? Here we go. And it says, "Turn around, or okay. we're going to shoot you, you out." Your, your flat Earth disc. You don't buy that. Your flat Earth disc. It's not a disc. You're, you're, okay, whatever. Whatever. The basement of the firmament. Basement of the firmament. In order to do that, your flat Earth f basement is twenty four thousand nine hundred miles across. Nobody knows that. What, what are you talking about? Of course, even flat earthers agree that it's twenty. How would a flat earth. earther know how big the earth? No, no, because he what? would go. He would go from one end to the other. What are you talking about? We can circumnavigate navigate it. Why, why can't you see it? It's still a circle. It's not unexplored land. You can get to. And people have been to every edge of Antarctica. So here's the thing: if it's twenty four thousand miles across, and you multiply that by pi, even flat earthers agree with that. Then that means the shoreline of Antarctica is seventy five thousand miles across. But there's a yacht race they do every month. Near and the people get around it. Who does that? Yeah, days. Days. There's hundreds of people that do what, around and they, Antarctica. And, and Antarctica. And here's the thing, bro. They don't turn in. They turn out okay. because there's no inward concave. Really? So what about what about the flight trails? How airplanes fly straight?
No, if you, you know if, what I'm talking about. You, yeah, cool. Glo- uh, it's 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 globe. What's it called? It's great. Circle. All emergency landing on airplanes no. only makes sense on our maps. No. They make no sense on yours. So, ready? Here we go. So, the refueling. So here we go. So I no, I do air refueling. I, that's what I did for a living. So I'm gonna ask you a question. We take your flat Earth and we put it on a regular. Wait, like, you're in the international? Huh? Yeah, you did it's, fly it. To, where did you fly? Flight or not? Iraq and Afghanistan. I've looked. Oh, okay. Something. Yeah. So you're telling me when you saw flat Earthers leak the footage of the straight lines that they don't. Do this, this, this. They just land, refuel, an emergency landing. That's not true. That's not true. Those straight I, I lines you I, de- debunked? Ready? I have 75 emergency landings in a... In a no, no, not you. Ty- There's 200,000 airplane pilots in the Discord who said, no, they're, yes, they're that's real. They're not. I, so and I, they're alive? I'm just telling you they're lives. Yes. So here we go. Now, what if, I, if, if, if I were what to take... What they for protecting your government? The, they're, first off, they're anonymous on your Discord server. And number two, they're so not... So they gain no money. Exactly. Right, right, they make no right. money. The, it's probably one guy... Here's the thing. My side makes no money. Your side is protecting. Your side makes a tons of money. Well, you're, you told me you're going to make $50 million on YouTube, dude. On, yes. For, for you, dating. Yes. For dating. Here we go. For dating. Here we go. We're going to take your, we're going to take your flat earth and we're going to put it on top of a sphere. It won't fit because your flat earth is 25,000 miles across and our earth, oh, our globe earth is, yeah. is 8,300 miles. True, yeah. so it won't fit. So let's make the earth, let's make a sphere. It's not the earth. And we'll forget gravity because you don't believe in gravity. Let's make it a hundred thousand times bigger in area. And we put that flat earth on top of it. And then we climb over the ice wall in Antarctica. What would we see? We would see the surface of the sphere. But, but to us, Picard, it would look flat. Picard said it's flat. No, no, no. Tell me. 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 If I take your flat earth and I, <laughs> if I took a flat earth and I put it on top of a sphere that's 100,000 times more area than the earth, when, when we come over there and let's say you and I were, uh, 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 we were to avoid the tree and somehow make it over the ice wall and we go over there, what would we see? We would see what uh, looks to us as flat. So wait, wait. You, and the sphere would look flat. The sphere would look flat. The sphere would look flat if it was 100,000 times bigger than the Earth. No, and if you know what? Okay, good. No, 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 no. How about 100 million times bigger than the Earth? Bro, and we, so, put, and we put it on top of there. Listen, what, would it look flat then? No, I want you to say yeah, to the camera I mean, that if we had an object that was 100 I'll million answer, times bigger I'll than answer, the Earth and you were standing on it, you would be able to tell it was a sphere. Go ahead. The easiest Go ahead. answer. We fly around the Earth. No, bro. It's not that big, bro. Bro, bro this is I'm not saying that. Yeah, I'm not saying. I'm not saying that. You should be able to say that fucking thirty thousand you, you, you eight inches. No, you need to answer the question. If you had something that was a hundred thousand times bigger than the Earth and you climbed over the ice wall, you would not be able to tell that was, there was a curve. I like your yes or not? I like your side. Let me let's stop right there. So you were saying that fifty th- or fifty miles. Uh, fifty miles. He's just saying you can never see it. That's what he's saying. You can never see it. Two hundred sixty thousand feet. If you saw the curvature of the Earth, would you? If you saw with your own eyes, then you believe. Absolutely. It would. Okay. Yes. Here's the blocking challenge for all the flat earthers. Yes. You're so Let's do this. Well. This is a challenge. We, we've, we've already done it. Now. We've already done it. By the time this goes live, okay, the Virgin Galactic space plane goes up 53 miles up, so you would be able to see it. Correct. That is why it goes 53 miles up. It only costs $250,000 to go on sure. as a ticket. Only $250,000. <laughs> Yeah, if your guys are so bloody sure. So wait, how high is it going? No, we're going to 53 miles. The deal. At the end of the it's about 270,000 feet. I will be launching a Kickstarter. If you are so certain of your conviction in the... In the I'll, I'll do that. I'll get into that. I'll get into that easily. Okay. So, so it, you have... And now, let, now look at there. Look, look up. Send the giant circus yes. in the space. That's the thumbnail. And you know, look how pathetic it is. That they need two hundred fifty thousand to prove it's all. Oh, how about this? You need two hundred fifty. How, how about that? How about that? How about that? You guys got it. How pathetic! How pathetic! How pathetic, how pathetic, how pathetic, how pathetic, how pathetic is it that they could turn all all of science on its head if they just went up one time? They could turn all of that. Stop talking. All the no, science no, no. on its head. All they had to do was go to Antarctica. All they had to do was go to Antarctica. They had to fly. Up all they got to do is get, get twenty thousand. All they had to do is go to Antarctica, get a drone, and fly it over as far as you can. You can fly those drones 50, 60 miles in, and you'll see nothing but ice because they had it's Antarctica. So obvious it's at the ball. ball. No, no, I, you're right. I never said that. I never said it. It was obvious about any of you. Wait, 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 wait. If I was arguing, Glenn, hold on, Glenn. If I was arguing for square or triangle Earth, he would wipe the floor with me. Why is an astrophysicist losing to me? Because the truth defends itself. First page, page of Genesis. There's a firmament. You're Genesis. A firmament. I'm losing because of Genesis. I'm, li- I'm not li- First off, I'm not no, losing. No, no, no. Second of all, you're trying to win because of Genesis. No, no. I'm saying, I'm saying that literally it's an attack on the Bible. Again, I didn't even use the Bible to win. I used scientific method. You haven't used any. 
Yeah, I, okay, that's that's number one. Number two, you, every time you're losing, Carl said I beat you in that one clip. Yeah, every the, the oh, Catholic debate. Every, I'll show you every yeah, single time. You just you know you're gonna lose a point. You just lose it, and then you're just gonna blow. No, because you're forgetting you, peanut peanut points don't convince the, the whole game. You say it's a don't peanut, peanut point. The South Hemisphere, the Southern Hemisphere is not a peanut. Give me, point. give me a, yeah. give me a potato point right here. We give go. me the why is the Earth round? Here we go. Potato. Here we go. Blake, blow foot. Round bell foot. Red. Three verse one, look at these boys, bro. Three verse one, this is f***ing easy. Shut up. Nah, I'm, 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 not, a, not for me, this is not a challenge. No, I don't. Again, In here, go ahead. Three bro, verse one, bro, 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 bro. He needs backup. Again, you're John, uh -huh. you're John Zerka. You're so much. We got the moderator trying to win. We got a three verse one and I'm wiping the floor with them. You. Hey, we're not editing any of this. We're, editing why, is why, illegal. Why would we edit any of this? You're this, not winning. This three one, this three one. We got the moderator heated. Did it? Did it? What? No, put your face on camera. I'm sure you're gonna do it. Put your face, put your face on camera if you want to be tough. Go all in. Are you gonna what? Just question. If we raise the money. Yes. One hundred percent. Yes. On the virgin of one of one of And you'll never do it. You'll never do it. We'll go up with them. If we get over 250, if we if you make more, if you guys want to send both like and then yeah. Like, yeah, then we'll do that too. Okay, we will get added to your go on Virgin Galactic and send both of these guys. Hell, right. while you're at it, you can also raise money since we've only dug eight miles deep. But he believes there's a mantle or stuff. How deep have we dug? Like, it's, you believe in a core, right? You haven't dog. even pulled through the cross. You but, believe but, in that? But shit. Where do volcanoes come from? I'm just curious. Wait, right. Because I can't explain, <laughs> because I can't explain the volcanoes, there's a fucking bill. Give me a break. I didn't say there was a cord, but you can't explain you volcanoes. You assume if I pop, this is so hey, Why funny. is the sky blue? Is this so oh, 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 oh. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Okay, ready? Here's why oh, the, the, the sky is blue. The sun emits, the, high sun, the, sun, the sun emits at light, and the sun emits light towards the earth. The, the atmosphere, O3, absorbs red. The uh, spectrum is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Blue, indigo, and violet are absorbed by the atmosphere, which is why the sky is blue. And the red, orange, yellow is the color we see of the sun. So Thank you very much. If you believe that, that's so a, is everything that dunks a 50. That dunks a 50 right there. Is everything chemicals? I mean, everything's... Do you know of your growth rate because of dopamine chemical fire? Oh, bro, see, do you see this? I want to know. I want to know. Why do you sound effects for when he changes the subject? No, no, no. Man, this, is this is a one second. This is a one second change. Would you ever look into your girlfriend's eyes and say, "Honey, I just love you because it's a chemical reaction"? It's, You're it's, a scientist. It's, it's a, a neurochemical. Chemical, this is a neurochemical response. I think it's both. I think it's both. You we're think gonna, there's a we're spiritual gonna, connection? Gonna, yeah, we're going to get into Christianity later if you want to, I, because I'm going to surprise. Well, you. I'm not leaving. This is a million clips. Let's go. Ready? All right. Here we go. So. The thing that I was going to ask you about before is... Yes, it, we'll be sending this... Wait, 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 wait. You never answered, do you believe that the compass is a flat Earth instrument? The, the compass is... It goes on lines of magnetization. You didn't say it aligns the... Uh, to I mean, yeah, for, I'm not Hillary Clinton, bro. It's a flat Earth instrument. I don't think so. It's a flat Earth instrument. Where's the South Pole, then? The South Pole is, is opposite from the North Pole. But you're making my flat Earth instrument argument. Why? No, because it's split. Because I make no. You're making mine because we talked. Can you about look at a compass and in three south? different places you, in the southern hemisphere? You look to the south and where you see the, the entire sky rotate around one southern pole. You are making my point for me. There is one southern point. Is there a compass that points south on Earth? The, the compass, okay, so you just uh, say no, bro. Yeah, yeah. What the? Okay, so why so do you want to humiliate for those, yourself? For those, of you, for, the, for those of you who are watching here, I'm not here to debate. I'm Can here, I just roll out? I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, here to, I'm, not, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to educate. So here's what's happening it is not pointing north or south. The compass aligns along a line of magnetation, which, by the way, can only... Ma magnetic north. Yeah, which, by the way, north. Which, by the way, no, it points north and south, which, by the way, only <laughs> exists when you have a dynamo, which is because the What's core the of the Earth is rotating at a different speed than the fucking uh, crust, which is why there are lines of magnetation in the first place. Okay. That is the point. Thank you. Now, Thank you. going back to what I'm saying, it does not point north. It aligns with the lines of magnetation. And I can prove it. If we were to go up to where magnetic north is, where in, in Canada, if you were to get closer to it, you would start to see it changing direction very quickly. That's why we have magnetic variation. As pilots, every pilot here, even you flat, you're supposedly 50,000 flat earth pilots, you know, you, you know wow. how lines of magnetation are, and there's magnetic variance right. because the North Pole is not the right. same as the magnetic North Pole. And why would that be? Why would there be a different magnetic North Pole than a North Pole if the Earth is fucking? flat and the answer is because it's a dynamo it's hey guys don't it's talk it creates lines of magnetization dude don't let them do that you're doing great <laughs> why are you guys talking over him just <laughs> cleaning bro that's so 
rude. Did you hear that too? Like to hold on, hold on. Go ahead. But, but, hold on. After you said, Rolo, please. I, I'm about to. You ju that whole thing you said, which was you know accurate really begs the question does mike sartain believe you can go someone can invent a compass that points south no yeah you would someone can do that on earth sure you you would take the oh, you, would take, you would take the other end of it and it would go south because no, you, take, oh, tell you me, tell know, me, oh, it's only it's only tell south. Out, tell out, let's ask any of these guys if you go to the southern hemisphere yeah. does the compass still work Thank you. Thank you. But it wasn't you. I mean, no. No. That's the no. point. No. What the but fuck is wrong but you're, you you're, you're, so, you're so far away from the magnetic North Pole, and it still works. But because you're you're saying not, a Chinese lady it's, can it's tell not, the compass to point south. No. That's your argument. It's not pointing north. It's aligning with the line of magnetation. By the way, here's a, here's a, here's a real mind. You guys want to do this. If you go north of the magnetic north, but you're still south of the North Pole, it points south. <laughs> what the f you can look it up for yourself because magnetic north is different from true north and that's something we learned okay but i just want it simple but can you, someone build that compass but you need it simple because yeah, this stuff doesn't make sense i to do you. michael simple earlier yeah. just gave You're up politically correct the lie I, I got an experiment tristan i need you to go flush the toilet and tell me which way to walk yeah yeah that's the next oh question. that's why you believe this yo check this out chad Rollo believes because of toilet water, that's why it's a globe. That's the glass. Yo, that's bigger than flat earth. That's going to get more views than flat earth. I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I'm not, I'm not, wait, why are you so this? not toilet using, water. Why do you believe I'm not using, using, I'm not using this as a proof, but why do hurricanes spin in one direction on your inside circle, but they spin in another direction in your outside circle? I guess because it's a globe. No, I'm asking you. I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen this. This is five times. This is five times. I didn't. I didn't prepare for tornado. We're gonna call him Ray Guy. How much he punts, bro? Wait, is it? Is this the? This is the wire guy. Pump. Does he punt? Why are tornadoes like gray? But some of them are blue gray. Just depends if the sun's up or not. No, really? You're actually gonna answer that seriously? It depends if the sun's up or not. Yeah, so it has to do with climate. It's just water condensation. Dude, why are tornadoes gray? You said that for the sky. You gave it a dip in. You said he failed to answer they, for the sky. They, they change color. You, you, I don't know. It's they irrelevant. That's what I make. The point is, you're asking, like, Eddie, hey, why is the rainbow gray? Zerka yeah. doesn't know, therefore he lost it. It's like, it's like things that prove my saying? point are irrelevant. Things that prove his point all the no, time. No, imagine if Zerka had a thing for bro. It's the Genesis. Day. These f***ers are because of Genesis and the moon is plasma, which, by the way, goes to my next point. It's the cosmic moon, plasma. The moon is cosmic plasma. Do you know what plasma is? Can you describe no, plasma? No, but check this out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> get, get out of your system. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What is cosmic plasma? Hold on, dude. What is plasma? Is plasma? Uh, check this out. The point I'm making is in the 1960s, when the scientific consensus oh, was, the scientific consensus was that the moon is cosmic plasma. They'll never land uh, astronauts on it. That's why the moon is translucent. That's why you can see stars. You can literally see stars through the moon during the day. I'm gonna post the video. Okay. The moon is translucent. You can't put your foot on it. Okay, so it's a luminary. My, my, my question to you, so there's a couple of problems. Hold on, hold on, hold on. After the star one. How, how come you there's can see stars? There's a couple of problems. You, you can't see stars through the moon. So when I posted, oh, well, that's a NASA video. You can't see stars through the moon. But I'm going to grab that video from NASA. But, but I said, but what you're, you're not seeing stars through the moon. You're, seeing, you're, you're seeing atmospheric compression of like two different objects over each other. You, no, I don't, hold on, hold on. Hold on. When you want to see the moon, you admit when the sun is setting, it's compressed by the atmosphere, and that's why it looks different. That's what you're seeing with the with the star. Is that being a perspective book. argument? This perspective. Like the sun is setting? Uh, relativity? Is that, no, no, the, the sun moving into like the train tracks in one spot. That's what you're saying? It, there's a bad no, 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 I'm not, no, no, again, we're not doing, I'm not allowing you to use these arguments. That no, no, you, you, you get I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Like, uh, you're, wait, you're, wait, wait, wait. You, you, earlier you said we'll get back yeah, to this. I you, yeah. Both of you, actually. You both can answer. Remind me, sun. So when you have a full moon, when it first full moon, moon rise, yeah, it looks giant. Yeah. It's reddening of the atmosphere. It looks much smaller. Yeah. So you explain that how you explain Okay, so it straight up it's sixty I miles of, straight up it's sixty miles of atmosphere, so it's less refraction near the end. It's, it's sixty miles it's yeah. sixty miles times whatever angle you're going through. So let's just say that's perumps over here. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be Vegas atmosphere plus perump atmosphere plus mesquite atmosphere. I'm, I'm it's, making it's, it's, it's not just that, it's also dander, chemtrails, all sorts of things in the atmosphere. I don't know about chemtrails. You don't believe in chemtrails and you're a sick you're a you're a no, no, I'm, you're not a military I'm guy. Saying, I'm saying I you don't believe in chemtrails. We're a military I'm guy. Saying, I'm saying 
for reddening of the the moon. I don't think. So what are them trails? But we're not doing. Oh, this. bro, you got a business to defend. You see what he's doing? He's a, yes, I just want to know if you believe in it. Why am I a schizo? You believe in it? You you are a schizo. What is your answer for why the moon is looks bigger at one point? Uh, the same answer. Really same answer. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, the sphere reddening the, the the flat Earthers believe. But there are such thing as red moons, and when you think of it, yeah. Right? Well, hold on. Before, well, hold on. We'll go, we'll, we'll go to that to the second. But if you shine a light on a basketball, you get a spark light. But the moon is filled. When it's, when it's full, it's filled from edge to edge, proving it's its own light source. It's not reflecting. Then why do you have shadows on it? Why do you have shadows on, on the moon? moon? Why is there a dark side of the moon? Why is there a dark side of the moon? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Isn't that where the aliens came from? Yes, yeah, so no, no, it must be. Nazis. Wait, wait, dude, here's what's funny. Glenn, are you the third guy after I'm not, I'm not, Hold on, hold on. I'm not, this I'm not, is getting crazy, bro. I'm not talking about the backside of the moon. I'm no, talking, no, hold on, hold on. Well, hold on. Hold on. What's funny is you guys believe in aliens. No, 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 no. Admit it. You guys believe in aliens. They're not here. I don't believe that aliens are here. <laughs> Hit me. So that you're going to go five on it. Why does Isaiah 40, 22, cite the circular, the circle of the earth? Why does Proverbs 28 also re references the earth circularity? Why does Psalms 23 also reforms to the circle of the earth foundation? Red, ready to get, yeah. ready yeah. to get yeah. humiliated, Glenn? Ready? Humiliated. Repeat that. I'm going to, ready? Ready? Because the circle is flat. You got destroyed. You got destroyed. You admit he got destroyed. Admit it. That's the third player. You're done, Glenn. Mute, Glenn. Spherical earth, man from the death of the soul. Says a spherical earth. In the oh, yeah? What about the four? Here, Jesus has shown the four wings of the earth. Four wings? Also the four wings of your brings rivers, all from Revelations. Bro. Did you, did you are actually a Christian that believes in helio, helios worship? That God created the world with the Big Bang. Helios is Lucifer, dude. It's your sun worship. That's why these guys are nihilists. Okay. So so, first of all, I'm not a nihilist, but let's keep going. Do you have faith? Uh, so I don't know about... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, let's, I'll come on your show and we'll talk about Christianity. Listen. Uh, the plasma. So uh, it's a. Uh, would you said it was a cosmic plasma? No, right. I didn't say that. 1960s scientific Beautiful. consensus uh, that the moon was. Yeah, I get. It was not a consensus that the moon was plasma. I'm going to put the clip to make it look so stupid here, right here. Here's here's the thing that's going to happen. By the way, one clip does not show 1960s consensus. Yeah. What if it's one of the most famous scientists? Right, here we go. So here's what here's what happens. You, there's two problems. Number one, if it's plasma, do you understand what plasma is? It's a fourth state of matter where you excite all of the electrons off of there, so it's extremely hot yeah. which means Wait, there would be no dark side of the moon why are there what why is it when we have a half moon one side's dark and one side's light if it was plasma it would be blindingly bright you said it's its own light source so it why is, is there a dark it side is. of the moon because i'm not god but check this out the oh no, no wait you god you can you can see the light side why can't you see the dark side the moon fills up from the month cycle where it's charging it fills up yes so you're saying that the other side is dark because it hasn't filled up there is no other side because you've never seen the other side of the moon oh, because you say it's turning with the earth no. you lost again no what do you mean do you say no, no, no. wait 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 the dark side of the moon saying the far side we can see the dark side of the far side far side which far side you're, confu you're confusing far side with dark side right far side of the moon we've never seen because the moon that's yeah. right you better you it, better do that you, well you I mean, better do my, that. mike collins has seen mike collins has seen it but the uh, the mike far, collins has seen yeah, it yeah mike collins has seen it he wouldn't yeah. even the, he wouldn't even say that he went to the moon on a bible no no you're the lie about Neil Armstrong. Mike Collins was running the, the other story. astronaut that lied that they they ambushed him with the Bible to say swear you that, went to the Neil Armstrong. It's not my, my no no they did it to all the astronauts. Another question. Okay, oh, well, I really got to finish. Knocking them out. I the really got to finish this. The plasma, even if the plasma wasn't charged, which is ridiculous because that's not how plasma works. What would happen is you would be able to see it easily. So now here's my next question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said when charged and electrons, do you believe that the universe is electromagnetic? Uh, part of it is I think there's four fundamental forces. Uh, but, flat Earthers only believe in two. But if, the, if everything in the universe is electromagnetic, why are the why are the stars? How is it in our model they're electromagnetic? Mm -hmm. In yours they're burning balls of gas in a vacuum. Yeah. If everything's electromagnetic, why do you mm -hmm. switch, why do you switch it up there? Why do you switch it up there where you can't go? Saying, you're saying it's electromagnetic. So why do you think? What do you think? You don't think gravity is real? Well, what part of the universe is not electromagnetic? Gravity. So and we're going to go over. The, we're going to go over. We're, we're going to go over. The math quick. model. We're, we're going to go over real quick. Ready? So everyone, follow along with me. And by the way, I'm going to put a link to this video in there if you want to. If you want to go. Gravity is their big G. Go. That's their go. god. So so big G or little G. Forget gravity. We're going to go over your model, which is this supposed Richard Feynman experiment that allows for there to be a downward 
pull because of electromagnetism. You said electromagnetism. I, I've never even. I don't even know that. Okay, but you, but you do. Don't you don't believe in gravity? And all flat earthers either believe. But that because I don't believe in gravity, doesn't I, you can't ascribe to me a position that I do? Do you see this? Like this guy, this squirt. Because you shit. don't believe in gravity, the, you got to believe this, you're on an eternal what do you, mat. What, what, do you, what, do you, what do you believe? What do you believe? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna sit down before. No, where is it? Oh, okay, ready, got it. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I don't I'm, know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for my own. It's this, alien. This is not against you. I'm gonna do this on my own. Ready? This idea that flat earthers have that somehow there is an electromagnetic charge that pulls us to the ground. This okay. is what Witz had believed. Okay, then I believe it. Right, Witz so, go. So here's what happens. If I were to take paper filings and I were to take a balloon, if I drop the paper filings, they fall down. If I drop the balloon, they fall down. If I then take the... Like the balloon falls down? The balloon. It's not a balloon of helium. It's a balloon of ambient air. Okay. The, <laughs> the balloon falls out. The balloon falls out. No, 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 no. When you said balloon, can you give us a helium balloon for this one? Something no, no, like, no, 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 no. Why not? No, because because <laughs> I'm trying to make your point for you. Ready? So here we go. Wow. So we take the we take the. Maybe balloon. get a balloon with rocks then. We, we take the balloon and we fill it with ambient air. It goes down. Now I take the same balloon and I rub it on a carpet or I rub it on my head and I put it over the I put it over the the paper filings and the paper filings stick to the stick to the balloon. So why is the helium balloon? Here's, right. the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So now here's the problem. Either the balloon is positively charged and the paper filings are negatively charged or the paper filings are positively charged and the balloon is negatively charged. Either way, one of them is the same charge as the earth. But when I drop the balloon, it falls again even after I have the paper filings. So isn't this kind so of like a no, peanut truth? There is no possible way that this electromagnetism pulls all of us to the ground because some of us have positive charges and some things have negative charges. So the whole idea of electromagnetism else. The, so, no, that's what it's either that the, uh, listen, I know Why does about, it have to be because that? I know more about flat earth than you do. So here's the thing. <laughs> Clearly the, you don't. The, the, the You're thing, doing worse than Desmond. The thing the <laughs> thing is the the two the two beliefs that they have is one that it goes the entire plane goes up at 9.81 meters per second squared, which is ridiculous because after a year you're going to the speed of light. And then the second belief is that there's some electromagnetic force that's coming down because you have to discount gravity because if you discount if you don't discount gravity, then the regular model of physics makes sense. And nuclear fusion is not burning. What you're thinking of burning is a catalyst, a fire by a lamp, uh, by, uh, by logs, where you burn it and you're combining oxygen with carbon and then you make carbon dioxide. That's not burning. What we're talking about is actually nuclear fusion, which is an exothermic reaction. That's a different kind of burning that we're talking about. And yes, that will happen in a vacuum. And you do believe in nuclear fusion, correct? Wait, how does that, does that not happen? Or is that not, not, awesome? If you're in a rocket flying through the medium of space, the vacuum, uh -huh. How do you change directions? What if a if a boat pushes off water and yes. they're playing off of atmosphere? Such a great what question. The f are they pushing such off of the back? Such a great question. You're what either you're either you're, you're either leaving fuel behind or you're actually condensing two materials and shooting it out the side. Which you have to leave something behind. You have tons of gases. You can mix gases and you have a catalyst. So you're wait, telling you the wrong tip. Tip. You know this is real. You've seen a fire. You've seen a fire. A fire is a combination. Not in a vacuum. Have, but you've seen a comp you've seen a fire which is a combination between oxygen and carbon dioxide. That's if in I, our right, atmosphere. Correct. That's 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 correct. Correct. But if I do that and I create, if I put two gases together, like say hydrogen and oxygen, and I have a catalyst, then it will it will jettison out particles, which will third law of, uh, or first law for every no third law of uh, of of Newtonian physics. For every action, there's an equals and opposite reaction. I have to leave something behind. What I'm leaving behind is matter that's from those tanks, that uh, liquid fuel. So, so I can run with a can of hairspray. Yes. Rolo, who do you, Rolo, is he convincing you that it's a globe burner? Be honest. I'm already. That's not an answer. And I needed, I needed that clip. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I needed that. I needed the uncertainty. And this too. We can you need this too. This just did. This just did. Okay. Um, okay. So this is Proverbs from the Christian Bible. Proverbs 8, 27, compass. Since we were talking about compasses for a while. Compass, Hebrew, uh, is the same word as circle in Isaiah 40, 22, as well as compassed uh, in Job 26, 10. And all three clearly refer to the roundness of the earth, especially the spherical nature of the sea, of sea level, defining the yeah. Sea level. <laughs> Shape. All right. You guys are embarrassing yourself. Rolo, so Rolo, I gotta destroy both. You you heard where so here, Don't protect him. Don't say right, Rolo. Listen, Look at him. Save Rolo. Right. Please like, save him. But, the, word, wait, the, word, the word level. The word level. Stop the word level. The word level has two meanings. Stop it. The word level. Okay. If I had say that, stop it. Stop it. If a building, if a building is off of its, if, if it's oh off its foundation, God. it is not oh level. And it has to stop talking. Dude. If a building has two floors and it's off its foundation, it is not level, but it has two 
levels. It is off its level, but it has two levels. He has misinterpreted the word. That's not what I was talking about. Level, no, no, one more level. level. He said a different word. Sea level refers to the altitude. It, the sea level refers to the altitude of the sea, not flat. I'm not talking about level right now. Okay, what are you talking about? You didn't catch what he said? What? Oh, the circle thing? Whatever. They, they, it's they, a they, circle of sphere? He said it's, it's a, a sphere. circle of sphere. The, 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 it's He's sphere. convinced a circle. It's a sphere in the Bible. Rolo, it says sphere the Bible. Is it's flat. It's, it's, it's a the, circle. It says sphere Rolo in the Bible. doesn't even know what a circle it is. It says sphere in the Bible. It says sphere in the Bible. Give me a sphere. No, no, give me a sphere. Give, give me a sphere. You read it. A sphere in the Bible. No, no, in the Bible. You said spherical. You said sphere. And now you make me do some more video. You want to read that? Yo, can you highlight the word? Dang. That circle, Rolo, you don't know what a circle is? The circle is... Why? How wrong did I read? What the hell? All three clearly refer to the roundness of the earth, especially the spherical nature of sea level. Sea level? Yeah, because all water seeks its level. Because it's flat. It doesn't make it flat. That is because of gravity. What? Isaiah 40, 42. Well, Glenn, you better be on a mic. Is he on a mic? Yeah, he's on a mic. Isaiah 40, 22. The word in the Hebrew is, or the word in question is kum, which is also found in Job 22, 14, which in many versions is translated as bolt. For example, the New American Standard Bible reads, the clouds are hiding places organ, so he cannot, so that he cannot see. He walks on the bolt of heaven. Clearly, bolt carries the sense of something three-dimensional and is given as a primary meaning of home cult. <laughs> it's a cult. <laughs> no, he's he's yes. reading Google. He's not even reading scripture anymore. No. You're reading Google. This is Can so you funny. please cut it when you're done scripture? But you're saying the explanation. Read scripture and stop. Don't disrespect God. What the you read scripture and then start reading the website's opinion? What the fuck? And hold on. Just, just do it again, but do it, do it like honestly. Do it in good state. No, no, you start reading the article. Why did you do that? And then it's my turn with the Bible. I'll go with scripture. Okay. I'm going to nuke it. He knows where I'm going. This is where you're going to win me over. Let's go. No, I'll never win you guys over because it changes your worldview. That's a trauma to you, Rolo. You're not going to be traumatized right now because then you have to start coming towards scripture. You don't want to do that. You guys want to do red pill. You guys, they're never going to come this way. And you're doing it. You have a one what if you're, you're living correct. It is he who sits above the circle of the earth. And it's inhabited Perfect. like a grasshopper. You can stretch out the heaven like a curtain and spread them all. That's the firmament. But exactly, the firmament. You're saying he's talking. You, did you, you know, that, that makes my point for me. Stretches it out like a curtain. That's the firmament of the stars. And, could, and how are you a Christian and don't believe in a firmament? And speaking of. Can, no, continue so I can keep doing this. <laughs> it's hilarious, bro. We're going to need more astrophysicists for the next one. Bring 10 more. Hold on. Can I go to a part of scripture real quick? I'll go in two seconds. Warner von Braun, the creator of the rocket on his tombstone, left Psalms 19.1. Read 19.1 and then you can start coping. The inventor of the rocket left on his tombstone the Bible's firmament dome. Because he knew it's flat. Operation Fishbowl, Dominic, that he thought he debunked. There were no missiles. Fire. And here you go. Any of those. That's his tombstone. Where do you think that's going to the Bible? Is that going to the dome? When you open a sprite, it goes, Psst. That's a pressurized system. That's a pressurized no, system. No missiles fired during any of those nuclear tests. They all are. I'll be one. Song lightning one? Yes. All right. That happens proclaim the glory of God. The sky has displayed his craftsmanship. And show it no, his handiwork. There's, there's more. His craftsmanship. Not. The point is, it's, <laughs> it's when you said spread like a curtain, what does that mean to you guys? A gas curtain? Like, what the fuck? Uh, bro, I'm, I'm not sitting here to debate the Bible. We can have You brought it up. He's your guy. I didn't bring up the Bible. You brought it up. Your is your buddy. I didn't bring up the Bible. You guys are three verse one and you lose it. You need this. Let's get back to this. Let's get back to the whole thing here. Let's get back to the whole thing here, okay? Uh, real quick, can you pull up a, um, a UN map for me real quick? Well, UN, UN flag, pull that up. Or Meteorol Meteorological Association, Maritime for Navigating the Waters, and UN all have the same map, and the map leaked. I leaked on my Twitter. 
the map was found hanging in a United Nations building. And for some funny reason, it was identical to the first. Can you can you show uh, you, can you show uh, you and Matt on the made. thing real quick? Biblical law. Oh, listen, no, I need I need a flag. I'm sorry, flag. I need a UN flag. A UN flag. I need a UN flag. Uh, are you guys gonna have visuals on the debate? Uh, maybe I don't know. I think one, one other thing. One other thing. I just want to point this out really quick. Um, you have uh, maybe you've been fooled. I don't know if this uh, this is the case. Probably is. Uh, the, the statement of Tesla saying that the Earth is a realm is not true. You know, that, okay. that statement, I'll, do you want me to post it? That, you absolutely can't. That, that's all inside. Believe it. That statement was... What about when he said you can have free energy from cosmic ether? Okay. So, I, one more time. You don't believe in the one, stars? You, hold on. You believe in... You, hold on. One more time. One, one more time. Before we get to that. One more time. The, the, state, the, the thing about the Earth being a realm was attributed to a meme that was a, a post that was put... A flyer that was put into a flat Earth um, Facebook group in 2016. It is not true. In, in fact, they even contacted the Tesla Museum in Serbia. That statement never happened. You hear it all? Yeah. Okay, they're known liars. But he's also he's Serbian. He's an Albanian here. He's oh. Serbian. Anyway, the point is, he never made that statement. You should probably move away from that one. He never on, said the on. Earth was around. When, when, when Tesla said, right. Here we go. Uh, when Tesla said, like, you guys believe we're solar capsules, like we get uh, vitamin D from the sun and all that? Uh, well, yeah, it helps okay. us create okay. uh, so what, cholesterol. Yeah. So if you believe, then you get it from the sun. Why not the stars as well? Uh, I don't know. Here we go. Ready? Here's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can, can you yeah, how me? many sections is that divided into? Is that thirty-three? Can you show the thirty-three Masonic what? Federal Reserve okay. Treasury? This is section? so great. This is so great because this is, is like he literally, the he, he literally threw the f***ing alley oop for me to dunk on. And I'll post Ready? on my Twitter Beautiful. the Freemason Beautiful. flag that both all put on the moon. Beautiful. Ready? Here we go. Boom. Here we go. Uh, show me the thirty-three lines. The the thirty-three sections. One, two, three, four. Go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Show me the 33 lines. This is one of the most incredible things that you guys sit here and listen to him say there. Wait, 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 wait. You've got 40? And no one checks. you got Ready? 40? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, or we can go one, two, three, four, five. But here we go. Ready? We go right here. It's not 33. There's no way to find 33 in here. He said that there are 33 Masonic lines, not spaces, 33 Masonic lines on the UN flag. I will no I will, one. I will no one checked him on this. It was the most crazy thing I've ever seen. It took five seconds for me to look this up. Not that 33 thing like you're the numbers. Yes, it's happen. exactly the same thing. You don't believe in it? You don't think Freemasons have power on it? Uh, maybe they do, but that's not my point. Yeah, my point was, it, my point it, was, hold on, was there, was Buzz Aldrin an admitted Freemason? I don't care. I'd make sure yeah. that's for me. You don't care about the, this? Uh, look, my, my argument about the earth being flat or round has nothing to do with even humans being on the earth. It is a but function of said, geometry. But wouldn't it be a deception? It's geometry and fig... No, wouldn't it be okay. a something okay. deception? Sure, but then it's a coincidence. What you're it's doing, a coincidence? All what, astronauts are free what you What you're doing is conjecture, and what I'm doing is showing evidence. And when I show evidence, you go, okay, I'll give you that point, but that's a peanut point. Even a peanut point that breaks down your entire model, like the idea that we can see the Southern Cross from three places in the Southern Hemisphere when we're facing South. That's that, not a peanut point. That That's is, a bigger one. That is the end of the argument. That's your only good point. No, no, it's not. The, the, okay, ready? Here's the one. Ready? The moon. You think that the moon is, is cosmic plasma, right? How far away is the moon from us? Remember. What did they say? 240,000? No, no, no. How do you think? How far do you think? I don't know. Oh, I'm Zerka. Okay. okay. <laughs> see, again, you see how we, I mean, we, change, we, we change gears. Because I read your book, Rational Mail. <laughs> we change gears. All right, so the, the flat earth, not consensus, but the, most of them am I seeing, it's about 4,000 miles away, 3,900 miles away. Yes. They believe, and there is no, no, one more time. Flat Earth model. Again, I know more. I'm no more flat Earth than you do, dude. I'm telling you. What did he say? Uh, he said the, from the Earth to the Moon oh, okay, in yeah, a globe yeah. model is yeah. 38,900 miles. No, Mike. You know why Mike is good? Because he's literally asked to think of the heliocentric version and the geocentric at the same time. Yeah. So he's way better than Desi or anyone. The problem is you don't want to answer some questions. Desi, no, I, 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 I will. I will at the end. The, the problem. On one setting, you have to. Have. Right, so, so here's the problem. So here's the issue. So now, no matter what, this is another place where this completely breaks down. There has to be a finite distance that light travels. Has to be. What you guys say, what Winston says is, I'm not super. Well, about bro. light? Light travel has to travel a finite distance. There's it, no way. Does it travel parallel? Uh, do light rail, do, do right, light ray, rays if you, travel if, parallel? If you have, if yes you have, or no? If you have something big enough, then. Oh, yes. it's always got to be outside of your realm but, of existence. But, but, so if like, it's big enough to where we can never. Oh, that's it, there, there it is. Then, then light starts so, doing so, so look at this, this, big, oh, this big soft light right here. Inside of the soft light, those are parallel lines, but there are lines that are not parallel that are outside. So, meaning you like you can these, trace the lines 
from the sun in the sky to one point. That's what Freemasons did with a square and compass. I, you I, don't, I don't know what that has to do with this argument, but one more time, while I'm asking the question, if this there has to be a fight. If, if we're if we're on a disc, and in the disc you have two. This is the the flat Earth model. There's this the with sun, no space. There's the sun. Stars the, are the, fixed on a totally, to, totally, I'm going yeah. with you on that. But above it, the sun. For those of you who don't know, the sun and the moon float over the disc, and they float during the. Oh summer. no! No, they, some flat earthers say it's within the dome. Some say okay, in between. Uh, that's fine. I don't care. One. I don't care if it's. With, by the way, some flat earthers don't think it's a dome. They think it's a superfluid. Anyway, the oh. sun. The sun floats on the inside. Do you know why they think it's a superfluid? Because the SpaceX rockets they're splitting the watery sky. I'm going to post the video. Okay, that's fine. It's going to blow them away. Okay, good. Ready. The sun either oh, the, yeah. during this. Oh, I'll, I'll, during, it takes during, like, during north. During Northern Hemisphere summer, flat earthers believe that the sun goes around the inside circle. So it's like this. It contracts like this. this. And then during the winter, it goes around the outside circle, which there's some massive problems there because you have still have one sun for an area that's three times bigger. But which it, means which means South American winter would be three times colder than North American but, winter because you have one source to heat three times as much area. Lo look in the flat earth model. The cold areas are the middle of the ring, the north, and the southward ice That's wall. Why, but that's the same thing for ours with the No, it's not. You're just getting The sun is hitting the earth sideways. So how can you have a 24-hour sun if half the earth has to be casted in shade? No, it doesn't. At, oh, it really? Doesn't. It doesn't. You, you earlier so you we're said gonna, we're, 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 we're going to show, we're gonna show so just, you believe in a 24-hour sun. I, I don't care. Sun. It doesn't make any difference. My point is, if, we, if, we take, if, if we're standing on the true north pole, and this, and we're tilted towards there, and we're at some kind of elevation, like on a mountain. Yes, I could see. Maybe you could see if there was no obstruction, you could see a twenty-four hour sun. Bro, that doesn't, that doesn't disprove anything because the top of the you're saying the, the top sun's of, hitting the, the, the sun. The, the 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 sun processes like a dreidel. I know you hate them, but like the you know what I'm saying. It processes like that. If it's on there and it's facing towards the sun, no matter in all directions, you would see the sun during the whole day. It's possible it's a 24 hour day. That doesn't disprove a frown. it does. No, it doesn't. Which side of the earth is cast in a shade? One more time. One more time. What you would see up there is you would see the sun go around the horizon. If you saw, if you were at the North Pole and you saw the sun go directly over, that would disprove it. But you don't. You see the sun go around the horizon for 24 hours. No, which, but it doesn't which, bow, uh, it doesn't go uh, under. Which, which, it uh, literally goes like this. It doesn't matter. Even if it doesn't, you, you're, that's just your perspective on the surface of the, oh, of the North Pole. Oh, it's perspective. Oh, it's perspective. It, uh, it, uh, now you're joining our side. In Antarctica, you wouldn't say, well, then how is there nighttime? You would, even you would say, admit when it. I saw a 24 hour sun and then it's banned off the algorithm, you can't search for it, but it's on ericdubay.com and buried you said it's buried like a witsa clatter I, I really, I really, when i saw the flat earth 24 hour sun for the first time how, how do you how do flat earthers then explain the equinoxes like uh, the, it, you're, longer the, he knows longer better than that I, I know how they did it and it's it's it doesn't make sense because what happens is when it's okay a 24 hour day when it's in the outside ring the sun has to go three times faster you remember there's the pi three times one Point one it four. does laugh so, the moon, though, so, right? So the, so the area, the area that it's going, it has to go three times faster. The problem is the surface area is also so three times as much, and the sun doesn't get three times hotter. So what happens is winters in Antarctica should be like Arctic. Win oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. Winters in Australia should be like 40 degrees below zero during the summer in the northern hemisphere because it's re receiving so little sunlight. That's the problem. Math from a thermodynamics perspective, there's no way because you have three times as much surface area in the outer ring of flat earth than you do in the inner ring. So that's why it doesn't work. Here's the problem. The other issue is the, the if they believe, flat earthers believe that electromagnetism is what holds the sun and the moon and the sun and the moon are at the same altitude and they're floating around each other like this, okay? And they, they just go around each other. They can't explain. How do you explain eclipses? I'm just wondering. How do you explain the eclipses? Well, uh, the, they're on the same side of the of the Earth. The, the sun is uh, on the same side of the Earth. The, the black sun cannot be explained, right? That there's a third entity, the Rahu. Is, okay, so, so do you right? think there's a third entity? Got it. No, yeah. no, 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 no. The ancient Mayans would talk about a black sun during an eclipse, right? Because the moon literally fades translucent, then transparent, and literally, um, w depending on which uh, eclipse, the no flat earth that can explain what's happening. All we are seeing is it's not bigger than the moon. You have to admit. What that. do you mean? The sun, 93 million miles. It's just so far away. It is so hey, far Chad, away. It's so far away, but it's so big that it actually perfectly eclipses. It's just a golden right. okay, here That's we go. the here previous we, go. we have I've ever heard. one object that, so, so you guys can do some math here. You can do your own math and do your own, uh, uh, do the calculations on your own. One object is 238. 
thousand miles away, and the other object is ninety three million miles away. Million. So, oh, so, the sun so is ninety three million, and the moon's right here. Yes, correct. So and what, it what, perfectly what, eclipses. Yeah, are you like yeah, well, so? Our model's a yin and yang. In your oh, in your model, in your model, why are they the same size then? Who made them the same size? Because in your model, they're exactly. You're the same. asking me why did God do it? There we go. That's not. I just want to make sure. I want to make sure. In your, your, in 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 your, Gravity. He has the same mirrored answer. It's just stupid and real. What are you talking about? You say it's gravity. That's why it's so much bigger. All oh, the sun is just like no, no. That's no, a you are saying it like you're a religion. You don't even realize what's happening. You're saying gravity. You're big God. I'm saying God. Oh, come on. It's come literally on. not oh, answering stop, stop, why it's bigger. Stop, you're, you're, you're confused. We're having a flat Earth versus round Earth debate. But I asked well, earlier, why is the sun bigger? Stop, 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 you said because stop, stop, of gravity. That means if you are arguing the flat Earth side, you get to invoke Genesis and I get to invoke physics. How is that How is that against the rules? That doesn't make any sense to me. I can say it doesn't, it, it doesn't explain how the sun's bigger. How did that explain anything? Because it's got more mass. Holy s***. I, I don't understand. You may read what all day? Are they answer? Why does it? Wait, wait. Why does it? Why does it have more mass? Uh, b because during the creation of the solar system, it just has more mass. Why? Oh, it just has more mass. That's yeah. great. Say that. Say that on camera. It just has. You can't explain it because you're answering. God made it that way. That's what you're saying. Come but, because it just has more mass. But brain, we see celestial bodies that are multiple different sizes. But why? Why is it why bigger? Is why is the sun? Why is Ganymede bigger than Mercury? It's just it happens. Exactly. It's a coagulation of things but no, why is it a coy no, no. no my point is when you my, point, that hundred, my point is you come to me my, my, my point is mike your answer is no more better than mine and i'm crying he's not and, getting it and, onion is too much and, num and number two it's actually not the same size it's almost the same size but why that, you can actually it's smaller it's not it's but a why it's coincidence but why it's smaller the moon but now why is it the diameter of the moon is smaller than why? the diameter of the sun why why it's is random. It? it's random just like what random? You're, you're saying it's i'm saying god out. he's saying random it's like he doesn't get what's happening you're gonna be humiliated no, no, you, you don't know, know what's happening clear. your answer is not better than mine your answer is the yours thing. is that god of random no why is christ Okay, that's fine. Right. So, I, so what I, did I so like, Hey, will you yeah, real quick? We're so quick. When you point to me the Bible verse. Will you point to me the Bible verse where it says that God made the sun and the moon the same size? Dude, no. no you are you're sitting there invoking it. No, no, I'm I, I'm saying after, after the I, fact I'm saying it's right. from scratch. I never said it's from scratch. Because that's not I said scripture. because I can't answer it, I can't answer God's gnosis. That's the point. Wait, what an you can't either. What you're an incredible Why is the sun larger? I because it is, I John. I can't, I'm like certain because it is. I can't. That's not good enough for me, bro. No, I said because of gravity. Imagine, yeah, because it imagine if he asked me, he, if he said, why did they perfectly eclipse? I go, because they do. He would chop me out. He would slam. You know, you got better than Silver Slam. I got a cow. I'm saying right. that's so unfair. Wait, wait, Rolo, is that fair? Because it is, is a fair answer? No, I do. I said because of gravity, because of coagulation of matter. On biblical reasoning here. Okay, let's see. No, I'm not. I does won with scientific method. Does, okay, does the, book have the scientific Genesis? method gave you 33 oh, lines on that flag? Listen up. I'll post that over. Fine after I read this, okay? Does the book of Genesis or some other book of the Bible say the earth is flat? Answer. All of them. The Bible says, does not say that the earth is flat. There are some common idioms that the Bible uses that, if taken literally, might give the impression that it is claiming that the earth to be flat, but idioms are not meant to be taken literally. After all, if you tell me something outrageous and I say, you're pulling my leg, am I accusing you of physical assault or <laughs> accusing you of telling it? Now I get the, right. now I get the answer? No, please, please. No, I've got an oh, almost set. Oh, oh, let me pull it. Oh, no, this is the easiest question all day. Thank you. Let me play. Okay, but when you add it, do you account for curvature? No. One such example of this expression is the four corners of the earth. I think you already brought Or motion. This, this idiom use is used only when expressing how far something is to travel. Revelations 28. Uh, 20. Oh, one at a time, Rolo. Or, or to emphasize the vastness of something, Isaiah 11, 12. This phrase is also su uh, used simply okay. as an expression of north, south, east, and west. He's bored, so it doesn't matter. No, anymore. it's I. It's when not, I answer the first it. sentence, he's going to be humiliated. Rolo, you're going to be a meme when I answer. I, then let me build up. Well, uh, let me build up okay. humiliation. Here. But there's a whole. Okay, play the circus music. Even in biblical times, people usually travel <laughs> with a flat map that had four corners. If you were to travel to places designated by the four corners of the map, that would indicate you are traveling all over the map. But it is still not an attempt to state a fact about the shape of the Earth. 
Another common idiomatic Bible expression is the ends of the earth, but once again, it is an expression of great distance and not an attempt to fa as a factual statement. The reality is that most ancient peoples knew the earth was a Wrong. sphere. The Wrong. The only question was how large that sphere was. The idea of the Bible teach that teaching that the earth is flat gained traction only in the fundamentalist movement in the 19th century. Oh my god, 19th century? Yeah, please. Where did you read that from? Where did I read that from? From, from COVID.com. Oh, oh, from Catholic Answers. God. And now check this out. Say, yes. Who invented his heliocentric model? The Vatican. He doesn't even know it's a Jesuit priest who thinks a Jesuit oath, not a Catholic oath. We that, already know this. You're getting humiliated. Galileo. I, no, no, no. This Galileo. Rolo, Rolo, now you get humiliated. It was, you said it was Galileo. Look at, he's look, just making look this up. It's Gal it's just my, hey, guys, stop the video. Look it up. It was Galileo. He's just making this sure, up. Go ahead. Sure, we'll post it. I read this from what? Yeah, what's the first he's talking, he's he's right. he's talking about? He's talking about Giordano Bruno. That's not the person who invented the heliocentric model. It was Gal Gal Galileo proved the heliocentric model. But it was Gal hold on, hold on. Glenn, you're not even in this. Was Galileo was Galileo a Freemason? I have no idea. I don't care. It doesn't make any difference. I don't care. Okay. No, here's, the, you know, here's the reason why I don't care. And it's almost here's, sexual. Here's the reason why I don't care if Galileo was a Freemason. And you know what? Because, talking because so I'm connecting me right now. Because well, I, 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 no, I have no moon is fake. Blah, blah, blah. Then you guys can defend me. No, 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 no. Get the f. I, uh, I took a note. I, I, I took a note of what you guys are doing. You guys are humiliated. Wait a second. You guys are going to get humiliated. Let's look. He read it from the Catholic. I okay, Glenn. Are you are you serious? I answered you. I told you Jesuits are not Catholics. Get there faster. Okay. I let told you yeah, Jesuits are not Catholics. Here we go, guys. They come take on, a come different. On, come on. I don't. I don't care about any of that. Listen. The reason why I believe what Galileo did, and I don't care what his name was or when he was born, is because I can take a telescope myself. Everyone called me on this. Everyone can, call, can go buy a telescope. You can see the bulk go under the curve. And you can look at Jupiter just like Galileo did. And yeah. you, can, you can look at a light in the sky and you say can Jupiter. You can visually <laughs> see the four moons. You can visually see with a cheap telescope. You can see them. You can see lights in the sky. One more time. One more time. You can see Jupiter just like Galileo did. You can see it on your own. If you don't believe me, if you are such a... You can see Mars too. What's if your you point? Are, if you are such a... Howard, that you will not do this on your own to look through a telescope on your own and then say, oh, no, bro, that must be CGI. No, no pictures. No, I didn't say so. Nobody says that. What a f you know all of our arguments and you're going to snake no, no, me? No, no, no one has ever said it's CGI through a telescope. When you look up and you see a luminary, you're just seeing a luminary. When you go to NASA.com, it's all CGI. That's my point. He knows that's my, my argument that's and he'll show a snake out that's of it. My, that's my point. You know my that's argument. Exactly my point. You need you all my argument. You can't you change this. You can't make the CGI argument when you look at pictures you of fucking make Jupiter. A, Mike, you don't make a CGI no, argument. No, no, no. We make a luminary that's argument saying, no, 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 no. Light in the you sky. Missed, you miss. You miss. There's a light in the sky. He's, he's saying planets. It's a call, It's he's a celestial light. He's saying planets are real. Stop. No, I didn't. Planets are real. What, they're planets? lights. They're literally one. That's planet, what they're luminary. Planet comes from the word wandering star. It means wanderer. He doesn't know that. Of course I do. It's a dead. Okay, my nose. You want to see my nose? It's a well, planet, it's a Greek word for wandering. Are wandering stars. Stars that have a different path. Number two, we make the argument that the planets are real. They're not your computer generated Mars rover. Yeah, you can step on the moon. I can step on the moon. I can still get it. Hold on, one more time. Take, go on yourself. Take a telescope and look at Jupiter, and you will see the four moons of Jupiter, and they orbit. But we're telling Jupiter. you they're not moons, that's bro. All, that's fine. So they're saying. just light. I understand. My point is. All of your CGI arguments break down when you take a telescope yourself and you can see these things. You know, there is no, you know, this is my fourth time and you're not getting it. There is no CGI argument when you involve I the agree telescope. With you. I agree with you. No, when he's, he's making CGI. my argument for me. He's when making my argument for me. When you he's making my argument for me. He's making my argument for me. We said saying, CGI no, for when you first played the other one. Forget it. Forget Mike. But, but all during, during, during the time. During this argument. Water. During this argument, I have not made one reference towards NASA. I'm not talking about that. My point is, if you want to disprove this nonsensical CGI argument, there you is do, no CGI. All, all you got to do, all you got to, I'm not saying CGI. I didn't make a CGI I'm not argument. Saying CGI with a telescope. I'm saying any kind of CGI. All you have to do is look for yourself with a telescope. And because most, you see four lights around Jupiter, you don't see four lights. You can actually see them. You can see the rock, and they can, can go behind you. you. Oh, they go behind them. What does a planet look like through a telescope? Don't lie to them. You know that's a. Looks like burning light. It looks like it looks, it looks like, like a rock. It looks like a rock. It's like the moon, just like the moon does, which is supposedly a 
Wait, super fluid Jupiter looks plasma. Like a rock. The moon is supposed. You're saying plasma. Jupiter looks like a rock. You're saying the moon Jupiter's looks like a gas. You're saying the moon looks like a plasma. Is that the moon? It, the moon looks it, like a lot closer. One more time, guys. Take a look at the moon through a telescope and tell me it looks. You like can see blue sky going through the moon. moon. It's yeah. literally translucent. He's, he's saying it's a rock. No, with you blue can, sky. I can see it. One more time. Holy. Wait, have you seen blue my blue sky? No, it doesn't go to blue sky. Does not go through the moon? You get half the moon is in blue. What the? I'm gonna post the clip. That's the leading expert. Wait, wait, I didn't, I never got to humiliate you. Yeah, you the first, Glenn, you and Rolo forget <laughs> that the Abraham, there's no old religions who believe in flat earth. All three Abrahamic faiths talk about the earth standing on pillars with a shield and a firmament. You're a liar. Google. This saint's flat. No, no. Doesn't say it's flat. Look at the cope. So it's on. So it's on pillars. You agree? But it doesn't. So, so then I not. It's not. It's on. But you, you said I it. You, said, I don't, you I, invoke scripture to say I, it's I don't, a sphere. I don't. So I admit you I lost. I, I, that's I, I, a, not I, a potato I did, point. I did. That's a huge potato you lost. I did. That's why they were dealing with silver plus. I did. I did the I did the I'll never forget. No, I'm not. The biggest. No, they're all. The biggest North American winner. Glenn, that's the reason Glenn, why the moon is fake. The, the moon is fake, fake, bro. Pillar? The moon is yeah. fake, bro. Yeah, I'm not using so, the. So if you're going to use scripture to say it's a sphere, and you agree it's I don't a sphere, use, I don't use no, no, scripture to say it's no, a sphere. No, no, but you got your buddy I here to use. No, one, I, three verse one. This is too easy. No, it doesn't say it's on pillars, Rolo. I'll look it up. Oh, oh, I don't. I don't care. What does it? Is it on pillars, dude? So when you ask me, my point is I don't know. Scripture. I don't, I don't go. care about the scripture. Uh, My point is the scripture doesn't benefit you. Then why so bring it up? To? Why were you smiling when he was reading because it? Because it cancels out. Because it cancels out. No, the scripture that says it's a sphere. Why? It, because you... there's scripture that says it's a firmament and scripture so that says it's a sphere. why did you let... There's scripture that says it's a firmament and scripture that says it's a sphere. So why did you let it, it read? It cancels out. It cancels so, out. So you know what it's you're done? Point. You're saying you're not on Rolo's team right now. Why are you letting him read it? They're teams. I care about the truth. You're running with no. There are nine points there are, are you in roller ready here we go after he said after, he after, after, you know, roll out. after you know, one hour get the wait wait go ahead go ahead he just threw roller bro i think i need, I need, I need to start dude, he's back with roller does anyone have narcan for him does anyone have narcan for him? Does anyone have narcan you so at least i'm leave up you a bad in roller do enough cocaine i can't do enough cocaine to keep up with him it's so obvious as a sphere they're so witty i never said that and yo glenn you're a better friend you you pillars of the Yes, a poetic phrase that I do. Oh, it's Shakespeare. Look into you. Look at uh, looking at the, the use of the term in context sheds some light on what the pillars of the earth are. First, we should note the phrase itself is. Oh, a metaphor. It's so great. Really? Like, it's so great. Oh, really? When he's getting dunked on, he goes, oh, "I'm doing great." And and it's a iron sheet and here. It's a I'm using his voice with a bouncer. Yes, I can't do enough I can't do enough of that whole animal. Of that whole animal. It's okay. Keep up with him. Ready? Here we go. He can do steroids, but I'm here. Here we go. Here we go. Now, there are, there are nine retro foot reflectors on the surface of the moon. And the reason why we know them oh. is because we can shine shoot the lasers, lasers and they come high. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, how is it that before 1969, we would shoot lasers up there and oh. we would get an attenuated signal? But how did I even know this? But how did I even But here's the thing. Ready? One more time. Pause the video. You can look up the experiment or you can go to your local astronomy department and shine a laser yourself and you will get a light back in 2.2 seconds. Why does water is, which means two things. Number one, I agree. Light, you can shoot the laser. I agree. And, and it, it comes back. But why is that? You can also shoot it and it gets uh, anything else. It won't bounce, it won't, it won't bounce back. It only bounce backs in certain areas on the moon. Which said would destroy you here. Uh, Which said would. No, no. You should debate Witset. Uh, for sure, I will. Because the, 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 the problem is if Witset was ever that disrespectful to me, I'd break his. Off. Why? Why? What did he say? He said. What did like, he say? He says foul people, bro. And he I'm says like, slur? No. He says stuff. No. I've seen in the the video you did. Like it was fine, but he's like, oh, okay, you got dunked on. I'm not, dude. You better not. He's not gonna say that in the same room with me. Anyway. Oh, oh. If you want it in person, not no, a Discord call. He, he, he doesn't want me in person. I've seen, I've only done that one with him. I think he's the best flat earther. He's, he's he, literally number one. Okay. Anyway, going back to what I'm saying, there are nine retro reflectors on the surface of the moon. If you shine a laser at the reflectors, you get a light back. In 2.2 seconds. I Before that, if you shine all of it, but if you shine in a place that's not a retro reflector, you get an attenuated signal. Why is it that in these certain places that happen to be the same places where we landed on the moon and where other space administrations landed stuff on the moon, supposedly, why is it that we get a signal back? I don't know. It's a globe. There we go. Good. Because it's a, how the
It's in a globe. No, because yeah, fucking because it's plasma. Because it's plasma. It has to be a globe. The laser belts. Because it's plasma. Because, because it's plasma. That's why we gotta tell kids. Guess, when guess, kids are being ratted on it by Zerka, let's, let's show them the lasers. Hey guys, hey, 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 you know what we should do instead? We should take all the lasers we shine against plasma and see how many times they reflect. Dude, come on, man. It's not a plasma. Well, it's, you're going no. against 90s. Here, here we go. Here we go. Next, thing, next thing. There has to be, in order for me to, when the sun goes down, it's still over the plane of flat Earth, which means if I can't see it, that means there is a finite distance that light can travel. Every flat Earth that I've talked to, maybe what's it? Why would it have to be over? Because what do you mean it has to be over? It why, to be. why do you assume it, why? it can't lose its like, why would it have to be over? Because, because at some point during the day, there's a You're sun. You're saying it somewhere. would have to touch the ground? No, 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 no. To stop. Listen. What I'm saying is at some point during the day, it's noon somewhere every, at every hour. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Actually, you know, it's funny. I believe because I've seen and I'm going to post the 24-hour sun. You don't believe in that. No, I don't care about the 24-hour sun. That's just a that normal. Just proof. That's like just, it has to no, it doesn't. It just, Everyone it just, has to be in shade. It just, it just ha it's just at the North Pole. There's no way. There's no 24-hour sun in Australia. But there's no 24-hour sun in Las Vegas. You're saying that there's a part of Earth that doesn't experience a casted shadow. No, 24 oh. Hours for you're for, saying for it's one day, no, for one day it doesn't do that. Twenty four no, revolution, get there. No, 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 bro. no, no, bro. In the winter, it's twenty four hours of darkness. What does the f does that matter? It's it's exactly proves a round Earth point. In the winter, on the same day, you don't get what I'm saying. Here, here, and here's the, the here's the sun. Uh -huh. This is, this hand is the big sun. Okay, this part is the sun. Okay, okay. this phone is the sun. Uh -huh. As it's spinning on its axis, you're 66.6 .6 or 23, right? 23.5 degrees. I'll show you the angle, bro. But look at this, the sun. This is the phone, the, the shiny sun, and this is the earth. As it's on its axis spinning, one side is always in shade because it's facing yes. away from the sun. Yes. So how the f can you have a 24-hour recorded sun that never drops under the horizon? Ready? Here is the sun. Here is the earth. It is tilted 23 and a half degrees towards the sun. See my middle finger? I'm going to rotate it. It's always facing the sun. Thank you. Don't zone again. Actually, Appreciate it. That's the I, end of the story. Nice That's it. Nice there you go. You can, right you can literally, yeah, there's the splat earth thing, right? What are you showing, Roll? You're making my argument. Yeah, it is. It's not flat of back. That's exactly. Okay. Oh, that's exactly. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Because it gets contracted no, no, smaller stop, 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 stop. and bigger. Here's my point, though. You made my point no, for no, me. No, no, no. You're making my point. You're making my point for me. That means there's a finite distance that light travels. There's a finite distance that light travels? Yeah, it has to. Because why? how is it that the sun is over the Antarctica later and we don't see it? Why is that? It's over, It's still over the plate. Exactly. So your science got debunked. No, 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 no. I'm asking you. Why is there? There has to be a finite distance. So you You're got, asking the you, scientist you, of John Zerka? No. Let me figure this out. You, there has to be. A, there has to be. So let's go over a couple things. The dome has to be at least more than 4,000 miles up. It has to be. Because sure. that's what the sure. But now, so now it's so what, more. That, means, a point oh, that means that means that light can at least try travel 4,000 miles. Is that correct or no? Yeah, and you don't believe in the light traveling parallel. But I, the, I, light doesn't matter. That, 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 oh, that, then your point doesn't matter. Your point doesn't matter. No, your point, no, your point doesn't matter. Okay, light what kind of argument is light, that? Light has a finite distance it can travel based on your model. Based on your model, the light has to be shot parallel. It can't diverge. We but see it's diverging now. It's diverging now. I never said it was parallel. You're, the sun is hitting the axis of right, the Earth. Correct. Because, because, because here's the thing. The sun, let's say, to take this light right here, we have, let's say, 135 degrees of like different lines coming out at different, at different rates. The sun is 93 million miles you away. You can see all the light rays. You can trace the sun. Or if you take a picture, and they go right into right. So the how far? So how, how the elevation? The light rays. Cool, cool. Red. Red. You're, you're making my point for me. How, what's the elevation of the sun then? What's the elevation of the sun? Oh, because of that? Cause yeah, of that, what's the elevation of the sun? Uh, you, they, you should be they, able to triangulate like, the elevation you, of the sun. You, you, was it the, yeah, I'm not giving you a point. What was that? The, 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 it's 3930, 30, right? 3950. That's what they said? Yes. I'll go, okay, so I'll go the, that easy. 3950. So we all have to agree that light can at least travel 3950 miles. It has to. Or else how can it get down to the surface of the earth? Or, or, and, and a whole side of the earth, or in your case, a whole inner circle or outer circle, has to see that light. So it's more than that. It's actually 30. It's like... 4,000 miles, and it's more than that. It's like six, seven, eight, nine thousand miles. So what you're saying is there's a finite distance to the to light traveling. Is that correct? Sure, yeah. Okay, so here's the problem. If the moon is up there and I'm shining lights over there and you agree that it comes back, then that would determine a speed of light. No. Why would it not? Why would it? What? what? 
if I go there, 50, if, if something's 50 miles away and I go there in an hour and I come back, whoa, 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 whoa. then I'm going 100 miles an hour. I do not do see how that works. I don't believe in the speed of light, neither do you. I do believe in the speed of light. Really? Yes. How do you test that? Wow, here we go. How do you test that? Here no, we no, go. How do you test that? There's, how do you test the speed there's of multiple light? ways to speed of light. The first way was actually looking at the moons of Jupiter. When we look Wait, at do you believe you can build... Like, let's say, a plane that could do that one day? No, you don't need a plane. You just you use it. Hold on, a spacecraft you, you, one day. No, you, do you, you believe you, humans you, could build as something that calls a spot? No, 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 again, one more time. I'm not invoking space at all. You can actually take a laser, and you could take a chronometer. You could put laser lights, like, miles apart and let, make them shine through mirrors, and you could take massive distances, have it come back to the same point, and you can measure the speed of light. Absolutely, you can. 299,000 kilometers The fact percent. that you scientists are so comfortable at capping it, this is the speed of light, you're comfortable No, 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 but you are you comfortable saying that? But you're comfortable saying there is oh, we're comfortable saying we might know. We're not going, distance. bro. There's a finite distance, which means if there's a finite distance, what happens when I go 50,000 feet in the air? What happens when I'm at 50,000 feet? That means if I could, I should be able to see the light over Antarctica, but I can't because maybe I can't see Antarctica, but I shouldn't be able to see the light unless there's a finite distance. And because of that, it absolutely disproves the idea that the sun is over a plane 24 hours a day. It cannot be true because you'd be able to see the sun on the other side of the planet, on the other side of the disk. Or you're saying that light has a what is, The sun leaves your perspective. But again, perspective. That's like that's, saying you can again, see trees. Again, trees again, time, again, end of perspective means that there is a finite distance to which that light can travel. That's what end of perspective means. Absolutely what I believe. Yeah, correct. So that's a finite. Absolutely so what again, I believe. You have to live by that. The idea that light, that light has a finite, but you can't ever show. There's no scientific experiment you can show where light has a finite distance that it's. Oh, really? It really? Not. Was it, it was it 90% of the science Kellogg's bought? And convince people fake in it. Conjecture. Look at it. Conjecture. 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 Look at it. Look at it. I'm going to have turns talking. Look at it. Look at it. Switch the subject. Go ahead. Do, wait. Is it, the whole chat's going to be saying Zerga only gets cut off. I mean, you guys want to be humiliated. Let me say one point. I had a light question, though. Mm -hmm. so, Highly, I was going to see the stars if they're so far, right? They're further to the sun from us, right? Yeah. Oh, you're making my point for me. There is no, there is no, there is no finite distance that light can travel. Therefore, your whole model breaks down. Away. And there would be no finite distance. Of course, but he doesn't believe they're stars. He thinks they're luminaries, so that's not going to happen. And we believe that they're fixed on the f***ing dome. Which, which, of course, is not true because because of you know, and yeah. see them move and then move back. So that's not true either. He thinks they're points of light in a well, dome. Carl, Carl Jung, the greatest mind of all time, said said that there's a biblical aspect to the stars. Since Tesla says we draw energy, cosmic energy from it, I could, I could, I could say one thing I know for certain: they're not burning balls of fart. No, Carl Young and Freud have not been proven by any psychological science. Are you Freud? Freud, Freud, Freud you're gonna, you're gonna go about. Freud, he's Freud, in Freud. Harvard. Yo, put him on the mic. Put him on it. Get on the mic. Get on the mic. Go. No, 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 right. You, Freud. You, Freud. you're in Harvard. You can hold up. Can I study psychology? Like yes, put it. Tell me, tell me which, who the Freud, who the Freud, say the name, say the name, put yourself on camera, humiliate yourself, come here. You know, put his face, no, no, put your face, no, no, he's in the phone, pray, I, 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 who the stop, Freud, stop, stop, oh, that's him, stop, look at his back track, stop, look at his back track, stop, 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 I signed up for this. He's a student. Then why you guys are stop, 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 the earlier you read that there are no pillars, ancient religions believed it's a globe. I debunked you on all three Abrahamic faiths. And I could go to Egypt, Mayans, I could go anywhere. You have to admit you lost the pillars point. Oh. What are you talking about? The pillars he are. He said there was no metaphor. Religion. It's a metaphor. He said there's it's no. A it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. Oh my God. Okay, ready. Let's go back to so the. Wait, the Stop. water's coming from the dome of the sky is a metaphor too? I'll give that to you. Is the whole Bible, is the waters coming from above? The waters above a metaphor? When, when, of course you have to. point, if you can show me where the pillars are in this time. Right here. Where? where right here. 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 That looks like it rocks, man. Take it up with God. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, going back to the point, I just want to, I want to make this point clear one more time. No, two things. Number one, if I'm bouncing that, guys, real quick. 
If I'm, the point I, Brett, I, Brett, I'm making I, is that oh, it's listen, not, listen. No, remember what? Bad. If I'm bouncing a light off the moon and the moon is 3950 away and it takes, let's say, 4000, that means for it to come there and come back in 2.2 seconds, the moon is, the, that means the speed of the light is about 4000 miles a second. Are you, so we sure? all agree with that? 100%? Wait, wait, one more if time. Is that where you're capping at 100%? I'll, I'll, I'll do it for you. Ready? We'll do simple math. I don't for you. believe it. We'll do I don't math. believe humans have found the speed of light. No. Here we go. In your, in your model, the moon is 3950 up. If I shine a light to the moon and it comes back in 2.2 seconds, that means the speed of light is about 4,000 miles a second. Does that math make sense to anyone else? Or is, no. or is it confusing? No. Does it make sense to you? Yes. Not at all. Ready? Okay, ready? Real, real quick. And then I go into any, any, I'd use any sort of mirrors, any super collider, anything like that. I can show that the speed of light is 186,282 miles per second or 299,000 miles per second. That is completely disproving the distance to your moon. That's number one. Number two, when I go up to altitude, I should be able to see the sun at unimaginable distances unless light has a finite distance that it can travel, which there is no science. There's nothing to prove that light has a finite distance that it can travel. But the light has to be able to travel at least far enough to get to the ground from 3950. So you, you, you put yourself in this bind where light has to travel far enough to illuminate the side of my disc, but it doesn't travel far enough to illuminate the other side. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. And you use these rays in order to triangulate the altitude. But again, that may, what would happen? Here's the last one. Ready? The moon. Is it at least a plasma sphere? Is it a sphere or is it a two-dimensional object? What is it? Well, that's the thing, because we don't see the other side of it. That's fine. I agree with you. We don't see the other side of it. What, what, is it a sphere? No, it's a dark side. It's tidally locked. Is, have, like, is it a sphere? You, is it a sphere or is it a circle? Have you seen NASA's dog gov? They pulled don't care. They pulled it the dark side of the moon, and it's such a bad computer. Okay, random is it a sphere or is it is a, is a circle? Well, they say it's like a spotlight, right? You, so you think it's a project? So this is what yeah, Jared, say, this yeah. is what Jared told me. It's a projection on the dome. No, you, you, I'm asking you. You think it's a rock? Not, <laughs> doesn't doesn't matter what I think. There's what, a footprint what, on what, it. What I'm asking you one more time: Is it a sphere or is it a circle? I would say it's a projection circle. I'll, I'll do a dome. circle. Yeah. Okay. Cool. If it is a circle and it is on a dome, although it does look very orb-like. Okay, cool. When, when we, it really doesn't matter. One of the well, I'm going to give a sphere example. I, 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 no, no, but you know, to be all the way honest, all the way honest, sphere or circle. Okay, cool. Here we go. It, we'll, we'll give an answer for both. But, but, but you should you should do, we'll do a sphere, sphere, circle. We'll do circle. I'm more interested in We'll do circle, sphere, and we'll do a projection. Ready? So if it's a projection or a circle, what would happen? If there was a circle on the roof of this building right now, and I was directly under it, I would see a circle. If I was on that side of the room, I would see an, it would oblate, meaning the top and bottom would squish together. And if I was on this side, I would see the same thing. We do not see that. From every point on Earth, we see the, the sun but or the, how does the, the moon, circle. How? And, and we see the same side of it, which leads to my second point. If the moon is a sphere and it's, 49, it's 3950 up, on the southern pole, I should see something 45 degrees different than what I see from the north pole. But, but I see the I, same side the of the moon, moon in every single place. I see the same side How of the moon. How does a full moon perfectly fill up, illuminate from side to side if it's reflecting? If it's reflecting? What do you mean? Why? If, because it's, it's facing the sun. The sun's no, bright. <laughs> no, it's a little more than that. If you shine a light on a basketball, does the whole basketball illuminate or is there a spotlight? Uh, if you get far enough from back and you have a big enough light, so let's, let's say I have like one of those lights at a stadium and I signed on a basketball, it would illuminate the whole thing, side to side. Even it, again, also the other even thing, the other thing, you know, the side. other thing about a basketball is a basketball is made of leather, which is reflective. The moon Any is not. Object. The moon is actually dark. How does, how uh, does one more time. Explain like the thesis of the moon. No, 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 we'll get to that in a second. But what, we'll, to go back to the same thing, I want to make sure I illustrate this point very clearly. If the moon is a circle, then the circle should squish when I'm in the north near the north pole. Wait, or the southern pole. The, the if, sun. When you, when you were saying the sun, it was sick in the moon. Up, The sun has a spotlight, and you see it under the clouds. You've seen that hot spot. I mean, yeah. I mean, it depends on your perspective, like where it How goes. Does it have a local? Why does the sun? Locally, it, it, no, 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 no. It, it, Why does sunlight it, it, and moonlight locally illuminate only the clouds around it? What do you mean? Because, because why? You know, only because, the because clouds around the moon you, are illuminated that, by that's, the sunlight. Because that's where you are. Because that's oh, where. You oh my are. God! No, that's not cold. Cold. You know that. If, if it's a sphere, if I take a light bulb, the light bulb uh, illuminates in 360 degrees. You believe that for the sun? Oh, do you hot hot spot spot feeling? Do you believe if I took a light bulb that it would illuminate in 360 degrees? Sure, sure. So again, it is what you say, man. I looked at that light, and the light's right here. He's going to stand over here, and he's going to see the light in a different position. He's going to stand over here and see the light in a different position. What you're saying doesn't prove anything. Wait, what I'm wait, saying, what I'm oh, saying, shit, but I'm sick. That's gay. What I'm saying, so totally debunks your moon theory. Wait, wait, wait. The, sun, the hot spot yeah. of the sun. 
done, dude. I don't you're gonna care see about the hot spot. Uh, you're, I'm gonna post the clip. There we go. I'm gonna post the clip. Peanuts. Hot spot. Peanuts. 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 One more time. Oh yeah. Uh, the whole thing. Yeah, when I the look, sun the having the a hot shadow, a peanut. One more, one more time. A shadow on the surface of the cloud. One more time. Well, let's do this one more time. It's a if I look at the, if I look at the moon, if the moon is 3950, well, forget it. Let's say it's 40,000 feet. I don't really give it what you want to say this. If it is, what, should, what I should see is if I'm, in, if I'm in the outer ring, I'm the flat earth, and I'm in the inner ring, I should see two different sides of the moon. If it is a sphere, if it is a circle, it should compress top to bottom and squish. And I see neither. Now, I, don't give, I, I, I want to do what you like red cool. I'm just doing it for your audience. I'm not here to debate you. I'm here to teach. So here's the thing. Well, you're going to ask your physicist yeah. for a bouncer one, to lose. One more time. <laughs> one more time. I was a bouncer too. One more time. No! You should have stayed. You would have been a flatter. <laughs> One more time. I got hit in the head hard enough. I'm not even a flatter. Enough. One more time. Let's just, I just want to point this out. The moon, the reason why we see the same face of the moon all the time is because it is tidally locked and is 238,900 miles away. That fits with the model of what we see empirically. What he's talking about, either it being a circle or it being a sphere, does not fit if you look at it from different perspectives in different parts of the Earth. That also disproves. Those are the three major disprovements, not using NASA at all. Number one, three, seeing the Southern Cross in three different points in the Southern Hemisphere while facing South, I see it in the same direction, and I can see the entire celestial sphere rotating around a central point. Number two, flights in South in the Southern Hemisphere are 14 hours in one direction, 12 hours in the other direction. Stay on flights. Huh? Stay here. Yeah, for sure. Stay here. And then the third one is the moon, the one I just showed. The flights in the Southern Hemisphere. If you, the answer that flat others have given is that there is some sort of weather pattern that pushes the, the flight at 1,000 miles per hour. You, we don't need $20,000. Wait, how do you explain? We don't need $20,000. Uh, uh, we get a charter of flights. spinning. You would have to say this, but don't call, don't call this me. But you would have to say, say if you're the going time. towards the direction the of the time. spin. No, 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 no. If you're going towards the direction of the spin, you'll land at your destination much faster than you if you're no, going against because, it. No, because, because why? Because, because, the atmosphere, because the atmosphere has the same angular momentum yes. as Real the planet. It's been used as a Ready, but <laughs> Fred, one more time because you can use Coriolis if you want. I'm not. I'm not even going to say Coriolis. No, one more, one more time. The uh, the atmosphere of the Earth has the same angular momentum okay. of the Earth. I like the, way, the, I like the, the way the way that flat Earthers try to obfuscate the truth here is what they say is because the Earth is spinning that something must be dragging because they're not uh, they're not uh, they're ignoring physics. Something must be dragging the atmosphere behind it, but there's nothing dragging it because there's just vacuum up there. The, when the atmosphere was created, the science. Right? When, when the atmosphere was created, the atmosphere was created with the same angular momentum as the Earth that the atmosphere came out of, and that's the reason why it never dragged behind. Okay. Now one more time. One more time. These one two more these, time. these two flat these two planes. But I need more blow. These <laughs> I may I may start taking blow after this. I may one start more time. Apparently we can take what are you on right now? That's not testosterone. You're on an amphetamine. Yeah. I can't keep up, bro. I need a bathroom break. We're, we're taking we're taking yeah we're taking blow at church. Let's do that. Uh, Mike is doing the best out of anyone I've seen. Gotta but I gotta I gotta do the nuke. <laughs> okay. Coriol right. and no that's no, actually no, no, the, no, no, the nuke is the nuke is the nuke is Every single, whether military or regular, regular flight manual talks about a non-rotating Earth, a flat Earth. In my Your flight manual says the Earth is flat. And to be an airplane pilot, your own Bible says, the flight manual says, you must land the plane like Ready? not rotating. Do not Thank account you. for curvature. Cool. Literally, to become who, what, who you Where are in airport, you have to Here sign on the dotted line yeah. of flat Earth. Okay, here we go. I might, I might, I might have to Wait, to blank up. It's over. It's over. What okay. are you gonna say? So here we go. Now, what? Let's go back to the original, uh, the the original example I gave. Do you guys remember where I say we put a flat Earth on top of a sphere? Oh, and it, and so it it's a hypothetical. Uh, so it's a hypothetical. We're gonna start with a hypothetical, and then we're gonna extrapolate back to to reality. So when it says on a flight manual, just land the. Blaine broke. Yeah. Don't think of motion or curvature. Just let yes, the blade. Correct. That's a hypothetical. One more time. Oh, one more time. Right. So Go. we're gonna use we're gonna use two examples. Number one is if we have a sphere that is big enough, we would not be able to distinguish it from a flat plane. Number one. Yeah. And number two, you assume two. it's flat. Number two. Blending it. Every two. time no, we'll, we'll get to we'll get to that. Number two. Number two, what happens is when we look at the eight inches per mile squared, it breaks down at 60 miles. That's where it breaks down. When you do an emergency landing, is it usually more or less than 60 miles? Do I do emergency landings in New York? Do I do them in France? No, I do them very close. In fact, the, that flight that came out of Teterboro, do you remember where they had the double uh, bird strike? They landed within visual range. You're within landing on a gyroscope. Stop, stop, you have stop, a gyroscope listen, 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 and you don't believe listen, in flat earth. You don't even know listen, what a gyroscope yeah, is. Yeah, of course I know what a gyroscope is. Okay. You need two of them in the airplane. Ready? Here we go. Bro, you literally have, what's the one that, the land of, uh, in the sky? 
Why? You literally. It's an altimeter. Did no, no, it's not an altimeter. It's that's a, that's a, uh, 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 I forgot. I land the thing in like. Yeah, so so he is visual visual flight reference. Oh. Okay, so now here's the point. When I if I was going to try to make a paper plane to hit John right here, I don't need to take it, let's just say round Earth is real. I don't need to take curvature of the Earth or Coriolis effect into the into account. I would just say, oh, he's right there, and I would throw it. If John were further back, I would pitch it up and I would put a little bit more calculation. If John were moving from right to left, I might lead him. The calculations get more complicated as there are more variables. During an emergency landing situation, what you do, because I have several emergency landing situations in a Cessna, uh, uh, a Cessna and a Piper Warrior, Cessna 172 and a Piper Warrior. Man, we were unlucky several times. There we go. Kidding. Not, 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 not bless him and his family. No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's, it's, it, they're simulated. They're, they, oh, they're simulated. Yeah. You haven't been in a like. So the co oh, no, I was making a joke of you yeah. dying. What the co <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. The co pilot just pulls the. Pulls the Is that Mohammed Atta? What do you mean? Is that the co pilot? <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, that's so, a one way flight to New York. Yeah, it's a one way flight. You that's, to, that's the only flight where the Earth's shape don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, going back to, going back to, oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Go, okay, going back to what we were saying before. In these short distances, just like I said, where I'm throwing a plane across, I You're don't think it gets more complicated. Yeah, it gets more complicated. So, let's go back to your thing. Specifically, what it says in a flight manual is it says you're to assume that the aircraft yes. is rigid, yes. that the mass stays the same. And that it stays symmetrical. Now, now say it simply to roll over. Red is by Here we go. Okay. How many planes have you landed in your life? Uh, how, how, many, how many landings do I have? Probably 200. How many planes have I landed? Two. Uh, well, they're different versions of a Cessna 172 and a Piper Warrior. But roll over. Listen plane. to what he's explaining to you. He's explaining. How I navigated for his, his C-135. He's saying to you, to be an airplane pilot. The no, no, that's casual. what I'm saying to you. That's what I'm saying. No, no, I'm not tri tripping yeah. you up. He's saying that he has to assume it says on his scripture, it's, it literally says to be an airplane pilot, he has to assume yeah. the Earth is non-rotating to land it. How to he has to find it. There we go. Ready. Here we go. go. Roll go. Blood go. 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 Land it. We just get, get him to be quiet for a little bit. Go, yeah, going back to the same this thing. Is, is, what, ready? CGI plane okay. hitting a bulbing in the background. So, is it going to look like 9-11? So, the roll, look in the background. That's September 11th. Look on the screen. Go, going back to this. CGI the, plane. With, 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 when I'm throwing the paper plane, I don't need that much information in the model. When he starts talking about what he's talking about, first off, that the mass stays the same. What happens when you burn fuel in an aircraft? The mass decreases. What happens when you burn fuel from one tank or the other? Is it still symmetrical? No. No. They remove variables from the model because when you're flying an airplane, you don't need those models. So why do they add our variables? Oh, get why does when you why fly, say the word call it. Ready? Here we go. When you fly over long distances and you, you map those out like I did, you use great circle routes. They actually do work. But if you were to take a globe and take the great circle route and then pitch your, like, gain in uh, latitude, you would see the great circle route and it would look like a straight line. When you look at a great circle route from directly over it, it looks like a straight line. But that is for long distances. For short distances, as we said before, inside of 60 miles, and as we proved before, and I'll put this in the chat, I'll put this in the description. It, the, after 60 miles, the eight inches per mile squared breaks down. When we do that, we don't need that excess information. I'll give you another example. I don't know, because I know you don't believe in the strong nuclear force. If we were to look at the formula for physics for, for nuclear fusion, do you account gravity in there? What do you think? No, for no, nuclear no, you don't, no, Rolo. You don't, you don't account gravity. Be because, no, because it, no, it's because it's so negligible on atomic particles that we don't account for gravity, even though gravity has a, a place to do with it. Does that make sense? When we land and take off a plane, or when we drive a car, or when we're driving short distances, we don't have to allow for the curvature of the Earth. And I'll make it even... Uh, and even the I'm, balloon. I'll, I'll make we it, don't account I'll, for gravity I'll, on a web I'll, balloon. I'll make, it, I'll make it even more simple. When I'm flying the Cessna 172, especially when you go through flight school, you're not allowed to have a computer. We teach our pilots the most basic way to do it, using VFR, using instruments. You're not allowed to use a GPS when you first start flying. On my leg goes, I'm not allowed to carry, a, what's it called, an iPad during flight training initially. Maybe they do it now, but when I did, they didn't. On my left leg is going to be a map that is folded up, and it's got two plastic things over the top and the bottom, and this is the map of my entire route, and the emergency airfields are annotated before I take off. But that's my job to do so. That's an FAA regulation. On my, left, on my right leg is going to be my checklist. Okay, it's also going to be strapped to my leg. The checklist and the map are how many dimensions? Two. They're two. In order for me to land the airplane, they don't care about the curvature of the earth. They care about landing the 
airplane. What about the motion? That's the reason. What, what about the motion? Again. What about the motion? Great, Why do you say question. it's not in motion? Great, great question. Because, you have another call? Be, because the atmosphere that I'm traveling in has the same angular velocity, uh, angular momentum as the planet that it's rotating around. So just That's say why. you don't need the Earth to be a globe to be a pilot. No, no. Say it right now. No, no, no. no. What, what, you literally to, don't to, even have to let it to, to, to fly globe. To fly for for beginning. This for, is so ridiculous. For beginning, bro. for beginning flight, you don't need to count curvature in. But when you go long distances, you Who absolutely does? do. Which airplane pilots do account for curvature? For for if yeah, you go long distances, all of yeah. them do for long all, distances. For long distances. Pilot, the guy the space flight for Virgin Atlantic yeah. or Virgin Galactic. Yeah. But the point is, that's the reason why. Now, there's another thing that you have to understand. And that is back when we first started writing these manuals, like let's just say before 1988, we did not have the com computational ability in there to put a three-dimensional model. Which you, again, the reason we why- We do now. Uh, we do now, and that's the reason why- when and that's got, the reason why we use azimuthal equidistant flatter no, we, 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 maps we actually, in every emergency. No, and again, again, what's that called? The AI that again, lands again, it? One more time. What's that? Uh, autopilot. Oh, one more every time. autopilot is on our- Right. So, so your vertical so let me, is let, garbage. Let, let me explain. No one on earth. Here we go. Blah, 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 blah. Here we go. One more time. When you land, when you have an emergency situation, let's say I were to lose two engines in a two engine aircraft, or let's say I were to lose the main engine in like a Cessna. What happens to the electrical system? I lose it. So in order for me to land, I need to use what's called visual flight references. Does that make sense? Yeah. I might, I might. So when I train for an emergency landing, would I train using a GPS? Would I train using the computer? Or would I train just using a flat map that's on my leg? Okay, that's fine. That's the that's reason That's fine, why. but that is the reason why. <laughs> Answer why that flat earth map that you guys use has an ice wall. Because you're spreading out the, the it, it's an illusion. It's you're spreading out the fucking Antarctica. You're taking Antarctica, you're spreading it around. I agree. But, but here's the I agree. I agree. I agree. And it's a, you change up the shape of the whole continent. No, no, here's, here's my question. I agree. And why that's the, why that's the point. Why, why, does it why, why does it clip? Why does it, your flat earth map, why does your flat earth map have South America and Africa squish like this? Why does it have a squish? Well, well, why does your Mercator have Africa small? Why does your Mercator have Africa small? Why, why, does it, why does it have a squish? Why is Africa so small in the Mercator? It's a racist map. Mercator? What are you talking about, Mercator? The Mercator depicts Africa much smaller than it actually is. So maps are racist? Neither, well, actually, look, who, look, look at the time of when the Mercator map was invented. That's not something to laugh at. You guys are going to embarrass yourselves. And number two, 99% of all maps are inaccurate. He won't admit that. No, no I agree with you. You no, agree? No, no, but the point is, the model, th this actually makes my point. The model that is described. Even mine is yeah, inaccurate. Stop, stop, guys, listen. But listen. mine is right, way right, more right. than his. The model. Right. Way better. All, all model. No, I'm sorry. A flat, so, so you see, this is not a flat earth map. This is a UN map. Yeah. That's what autopilot uses. Yeah, okay. so, so funny. Go, going, back to what, uh, uh, going back to what I was saying before. Um, what was I talking about? I got kid for the first time. I lost my thought. Yeah, yeah. you got so, nuked. So when when you take a when you take the flat Earth map and you look at it, it even squishes the edges like it does there, which would indicate you're looking down on a globe. It, 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 it oh, was I'm on that was flat Earth deflated globe. Uh, a deflated globe. Yeah, you're, you're, you're the one who's saying it's a deflated globe. Oh yeah, I remember my point. Th uh, that's the I'm point. Go, and he go. won't admit. There we go. Wait, wait, wait you know, Mike Sardin. You said that you know map, so much of what you're talking about, but map. you won't admit what you just said about you're, Antarctica. You're you know what he said about Antarctica? He said, "Yeah, it's straight up, stretch out." You're, you're but he won't admit how much larger that autopilot map is with Antarctica. Wait, you won't wait, admit wait, wait, how much larger is Antarctica than autopilot? So how much how much bigger is Antarctica than the autopilot? No, we don't use, but we don't fly to Antarctica. That's the reason why. We don't fly. Oh, my God. No, we don't. If if Antarctica, Antarctica, excuse me. I'm training. We don't fly to Antarctica. Uh, Mike, if Antarctica is distorted, why are you assuming nothing else was? No, no, all of it's Get distorted. The, but all of it's distorted. That's the point. You distort no, 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 the earth to make stop, it stop. real. No, so you can live the we don't. Well, we don't distort the earth because we need, we need immediate yeah. information for VFR. Well, here's the problem. But you did Antarctica 10 times bigger. No, it's not 10 times bigger. Well, how much? The, the, is it eight? The, the is it seven? The coastline is 75,000. That's the point. No, the, for an the point is landing. You got to We don't. I'm going to just say, ready? He lives go, 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 go name all the times we have emergency landing. This is the funny best Antarctica. I've ever done. No, it's, dude, it's a disaster. You just said it distorts you're, you're eight times. How many times? Is it seven or eight? No, one more time. How many, how much, the, how many times does the autopilot map? The, 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 the,
the circle around Antarctica is about yeah. It's called the Antarctic Antarctica Circle. Actually, it's about twenty five, twenty four thousand miles. Yeah, it was called the Antarctic well, Circle. Circle you know, in nineteen hundred. It's, it's twenty four thousand, and you can go around it, but it's impossible to go around on a flat Earth map because on a flat Earth map you take twenty five thousand, you times that's that, that's point four, and it's seventy five thousand miles. The question is not about yeah. going that's, around. It, it, it's it going is. around. The question, sure. though, I want to know why you think an airplane autopilot can distort a continent six, seven times larger, meaning all of them are distorted, and you're saying that's safe land. And you you said, and are you, you kidding me? And you said that your map is not perfect, right? What? I said it's 90% okay. better okay. than okay. yours to land a plane dirty Here and Here we go. Here we go. So now, here's the thing. Let's go back to the original point, which was the flight manual. In the flight manual, it describes a model. In this model, the mass of the airplane does not change. In this model that we assume symmetry and we assume rigidity. We're not talking about plane, we're talking about confidence. I'm pointing out the original point. The, 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 point, the, point, the, point, the point the point is What a cult. The dude. point is to create a usable model. And in this case, a usable model, because I don't have electricity and I have to look at a flat map on my leg, I'm going to uh, but use the question the is, thing is the question is not about it being flat, it's about distorting continents eight times larger. That means every continent you know how dangerous this sounds? No, no, no. Fog? Okay. Oh, I, I understand your point. Okay. We don't use a map of the entire planet when we fly locally like that. We don't, it doesn't work like that. I'm going to post you it have, on you Twitter. Have, you have regional. So when you fly. I'm going to post this so on Twitter. When I, when I fly. Careful, careful. When I, when I fly from Warner Robins, Georgia to Augusta, Georgia, and the heading 000, when I do that, when I fly, I have a regional map of that airspace. Well, we're talking about New York. Okay, New York. To Germany. To New York, to Germany, you do account for the curvature. That autopilot Ca accounts for curvature. 100% accounts for curvature. In fact, I can show you maps over and over again that accounts for curvature. I can show you when the map. I drop all the stats. This is proof. This is proof. You can have a master's degree in psychology and lose a debate if you're not passionate about it. He's an astrophysicist. And we're in here. He's in the air. <laughs> why, did, why did I He's become an astrophysicist? Like, what, what did you say? You're a physicist? No, I have a minor in, in astronomy. Oh, I'm not an astrophysicist. Oh, oh, I, you, I, have a yo, I swear, you, she I said astrophysicist earlier, but now it's a minor. Yo, I this is an Air Force pilot. No, I'm a navigator. I'm an Air Force navigator. This is proof you can fly a plane and think you're on a ball. I have a question for you. Okay, so how does the flat Earth side of this whole debate, how do they account for like ships using the stars and sextants and everything else to navigate and to get from place to place. Oh, I get into this one. They believe it's just, oh, it, they believe, GPS, yeah, but they, no. but they believe, they believe the dome is set. Like what you have, yeah, they just fixed. believe, yeah, believe it's yeah. a fixed dome. And, and it's a fixed dome, right? And actually, if you go there, the star trails, if, roll, 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 if, they, if they paid me enough, I, I can make their arguments better. He can make a hundred, Sartain can make the guy who on your side. Sartain can make a bunch of money on flat earth. The problem is, you know, deep down, I don't mean to do this to you, if he came out as a flat earther, a geocentrist, he would lose so much credibility in everything he worked hard for. And he, they wouldn't even let him fly a plane. They'd go, like, what the f you make He would never. Deep down, when he said to me, Zerka, it's the most buried thing in the algorithm. I couldn't find you in Witsit. You know what? He, that was admission of guilt. He knows it's the most bad. Deep down here. I, I agree that it's banned. I just don't agree that it's and Would you say, if you were on a lie detector test, could you pass and say you're a, you're a glow? Absolutely, yeah. No I doubt it. Explain lunar eclipses. Wait, I was gonna answer. Oh, he, he, she, she said he said he doesn't have an explanation for it. He said yes. earlier. Rewind the tape. Hold on, it's gone. I rewind. Rewind the tape. Rewind the tape. But check this out. Everything here, what just happened, this should not happen to an educated dude in a. No, wait, no, no, it goes. It my should kid, not no. do this hard no, 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 to prove it's a goal. It should it's been, it's been could, 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 no, no, could no. Rollo ever, and, 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 and here, I, I didn't want to say it, I want to be a nice guy. I didn't think I'd win this hard. I didn't even prepare. I didn't ask you to see it. I didn't prepare her. Because the won. truth defends itself. You, you haven't won. Could, yeah. could, could Rollo yell it? Hold on, hold on. Could Rollo prepare with triangle earth theory and beat you? He could never be able to. He could never. Could anyone here? Well, you look at you. Well, okay, let's go back to the original. I just, I didn't let's make go, any like, points. Let's go back to Tell the Tell them I didn't make any points. Oh, wait, guys, right. here's, here's, let's go back Rollo to the original. Rollo could never defend Let's go back to the original. It's not a cube. Let's go back to the original earth, the original point that we made at the very beginning. He's the last one. You ready? He's louder than me. He has oh a, my he has God! Huge, you guys four for a squad man. His body sink. I'm in such a the, Play the violin. His audience, the violin. His audience, and he's better. Look, he's better looking than me. Yo, this is by, This is sympathy. He's, he's, oh, he's oh, so, this is sympathy. Look, at, look how charismatic he is. Oh my God! He hasn't done any. He hasn't won a single one, one, and I hate them alive. Ready? Um, 
What? Look, you go. You go last, and I'm gonna respond. This was what, abuse. What this was verbal abuse. Final words. What are your followers? My final words is you what? I know that this, this man. I know. I know, and it's all the earth is an oblate so steroid. Just, everyone listening, I know this is an intelligent man, and I know deep down when he goes to bed at night, he knows how much money he would lose if he came out as a crazy flat earther. But he knows my arguments. He knows all my meaning. He's already a flat earther. He's just coping. And you know what's funny? I don't want you to lose money. I want you to just stay there. Yeah, you know? we got to make money because we're going to Antarctica. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing. We're going to the galactic. Rolo. There's a cheap way to prove that the Earth is out. Uh, on a lie detector. Check this out. On a lie detector test, Glenn, Rolo would be a globe guy. He'd be a globe tart, right? Totally. No way. You have so much doubt in no. you about No doubt level. whatsoever. You don't have doubt? Not a slight. Because I flew missions. I don't want, I'll pay a thousand dollars for a lie detector tomorrow. Look, when we do that, oh, you, please. Would please. you do a lie detector? 100%. So you're going to go on a lie detector and say you're 100% convinced how it won't? And I'll tell you why. Ready? Here's oh. the reason why. Here's my closing argument. Uh, I, one time, uh, flew from Hickam Air Force Base to Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. And we had to rescue a little girl. She was a, a baby and she had some disorder that caused a massive amount of fluid in her stomach. So we had to actually fly at a low altitude because we couldn't change the cabin air pressure. We had to fly like in a regular cabin air pressure. In doing so, I mapped out the fastest way to get there. I looked at it on the globe and I looked at it on a, uh, the map and the Great Circle route absolutely was the fastest way to get there. So I know absolutely unequivocally without any doubt whatsoever that the earth is round. Yes. I've proved it to myself several times. Okay, now, going back to the last... Uh, but we're done. <laughs> no, well, Can I have a cigarette? Let me do it. What do you have a let me, cigarette? Let me go my, my closing thoughts here uh, one more time. Just the, the main things is the flight in the Southern Hemisphere, there was no answer for that. The way we see the moon from different aspects, there was no answer for that. The way you said that the moon or the light has a finite distance of travel, there was no answer for that. And the main one is the idea, or the main one is the idea that in the three Your different points. Your answer was, I don't care. The three different All points. All answers are, I don't care. The three different points in the Southern Hemisphere. By the way, I did not invoke NASA at all during this entire debate. You're gonna, you ran. Not, I don't, I don't, I don't, you I'm said to. you saved that for the end. Oh, we can do it. We can do, we, now we can do it. I mean, we can. I just don't care. I mean, I, 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 here, here. You're on your phone. Pull up one, well, well, photo, I, I, one photo of a planet that's real. Let's one, go. One more time. We got all day. The last one. One more time. Uh, from three different points in the Southern Hemisphere, when I look to the South, I see the same Southern Cross in all three points. You did not have an answer for any That was your only good one. No. The, <laughs> the, the flight one was a good one, too. You you gave up on that yeah, one. Yeah, after, after you admit you have to be a flat earther to even land it. <laughs> me. No, you, you have said, to be a flat earther. You said, you have, you said your manual, your no, no, flight manual. manual. What I said was, in an emergency landing, we have, a, we have a map that's on our leg. The map is splashed. We train to land with a map because we lose electricity sometimes. If you lose hydraulics or if you lose... Uh, the engine, or if you lose electricity, you have to train for emergency. Well, you're gonna vaccinate me, bro. You but and yo, wait, can I make one point? Do you disagree that when in the 80s, when they said eggs and bacon have fats in it, they'll make you fat, switch to cereal because Kellogg's bought the science because 90% of science is bought and paid for, like the vac. Are you telling me? Are you telling me? Are you telling me? Are you telling me you guys believe all this science? Well, what science is fake? But wait, ready? So, so here's what I believe 100%. That was bullshit by lobbyists to try to get us to eat cereal and get us to eat milk. Of course you're correct. But they say 90% uh, of let's, science let's, is... Let's, do you buy into that 90%? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. And the reason why, going back to what I said okay, before... So corporations don't because, rule. Because, no, no, but here's the thing. Nice. There can be a middle ground. If I, go, if I go to the CPE building, for those of you at the University of Texas at Austin, and I go up there, we shine a laser up to the moon, it comes back. That's something I saw for myself. When I was in Johannesburg, I saw the Southern Cross. That's something I saw for myself. These are things I've seen for myself. Have you so seen because, the curve for yourself? Uh, no, because I haven't been to the 260.